This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Just like me. Welcome back for another week of Red Pill Misinformation. Oh, uh, we are fake going to stats and fake news. <laughs> we are going to jail this week. Yes, the black helicopters are already surrounding us with the uh, the audience that we have here today. FBI, Let's get it going. All right, guys, we're gonna okay, go ahead and introduce our guest today. She's from Fort Hood in Colleen, Texas. It's Allie. She's an aspiring medical student. Give her a round of applause. Very nice. Medical We've got, she is a dancer and a choreographer from New York. It is Loretta, Loretta. one of the double time twins. Yes, yes, sir. And the fastest growing podcast there is. It's the No Fugazi podcast from Pennsylvania. It's Mr. David All Cooley. Way, from Pennsylvania. Nice. Yeah. Nice. From Warsaw, Poland. Uh, she is one of the finalists for the Girls of Summer Bikini Competition, and she's an exotic dancer here in Las Vegas. It is Alice. What's going on, Alice? <laughs> Nice. And she is a lieutenant in the United States Army from Los Angeles. She is the host of the Amy Is Show. It is Miss a Queen Amy. How's it going? Beautiful. All right. Uh, she is a professional threesome coordinator and former Playboy <laughs> playmate. <laughs> Jesse Preston. How's it going, it. Jesse? Should we tell her what the secret was? Jesse. Just shut up. Jesse. <laughs> coming, off camera. coming to a vagina near you. Jesse Preston. All right, here we go. Uh, she, she, she's a holistic health coach and a former fitness competitor from Bloomville, Ohio. It is Miranda. How's it going? Nice. And then also, uh, he is from Michigan. He is the host of The Crucible. The Crucible himself, Andrew Wilson. How's it going, man? What's up? Good I to have you. I can't believe I stopped the two-day Vegas bender for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Well, you can keep drinking while you're on the air. It's like, we, we don't have to stop you here. And then she, if you're very confused, you should be because she's the other one of the Double Time Twins. It is Ava. She's Ooh. a dancer and a choreographer from New York. Awesome. Awesome. Great to have everybody here. Let's think, start this thing off. Sure. You saw something that you showed yeah. me that got, yeah. my, got my blood boiling. Well, this has been this has been like floating around the internet uh, for the last week or so, and uh, I actually inspired the title of today's show. So I figured we might want to lead off with this one. Uh, but before we do, um, maybe we should go around the horn. Do uh, oh, do we need? Does the world need men? The world? Yes. We all need each other. Do you need men? I don't need men. You don't need men. Do you need men? Um, in a in a particular way, I feel like I need a man. You mm -hmm. know, like in that I'm personally more of a traditional woman mm -hmm. i do like that need whereas like the protector to feel safe that is the kind of need that i need but that being said it doesn't mean that i need him to survive uh. i will say that i came from a very masculine upbringing because i grew up very poor and very like put down uh, from my dad so mm -hmm. it turned me into a very masculine woman and i you know interacted with a lot of men during that time, during my upbringing, I had a lot of bad interactions because I was very masculine. I ended up attracting very, you know, the polar opposite. Mm -hmm. But then once I learned that and I took some time to myself and fully embodied my feminine energy, that's when I actually called in a true masculine M man. Miranda, in yes. season, how many plates can you can you leg press? In season. Can I can I leg press? Leg how many? Press. Can you do four? Um, do like four hundred. I've I've done up to six on each You've side. You've done six oh, yeah. six forty five pound plates on each side. Yes. When I met you, that was one of the things I thought. I was like, this girl can squat. Andrew, <laughs> do you think that women need men? Women would go extinct within ninety days if there was no men. Oh, thank you, Aaron Clary. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. What do, do you, you think? think um, I'm going to completely disagree with what you just said. Okay. I think uh, we're going to disagree <laughs> with everything he said. So just just podcast. just so we're, just so we're clear, <laughs> if, if 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 an EMP went uh, like exploded over like say Kansas and knocked out all the electrical circuits in the United States, ninety five percent of the population would be dead within three weeks. So he's not wrong. I, I agree with him. Like statistically. Oh, are we like ninety about ninety days? I think all women would die without men. 
Yeah, it'd be pretty. Oh, good. so we're not just talking you guys about put like yourself our, like, in that position huh? to. We're not just talking about like our own individual lives. We're talking about like the world. I mean, like, uh, is, is there some girl in world. Wyoming with a fucking axe so, and a shotgun who could probably make it ninety days? Yeah, probably. There's probably okay. Good. Like the world, yes, obviously, of course, we need men and women individually. Like I guess it's up to the woman to decide whether or not. What about you personally? Do you need men? Well, yeah, I love my dad and my brother and my nephews. So yes, I need men. Do you Allie. need men? I will say yes, I do. You do? Wow. Yes. Loretta. Mm-hmm. Loretta yes. needs a man. Ned. David. You think yeah, the world needs a man. Uh, women are indecisive creatures, so they need a man for guidance. There you go. Yeah. Yes. Jesse can't figure out what she's going to say about that. She can't no, decide. No, I, I, I 100% <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I wholeheartedly agree. I just think that men also position themselves since the beginning of time to be the ones that learned how to build and learned how to drive and learned how to create certain things. So now women are in this situation where if you guys disappear... He's such a prick. <laughs> if guys disappeared... I mean, we would struggle for a very long time, but I think that women could eventually get to the point where they can figure stuff out. Andrew, think, what do you think about this? Do you think? Do you think? Do you need men? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm very happily married. Oh, yeah. I, I, I like men. I love men. I want men. I want women as well. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely. Think I'm sorry. What was your rank again? Uh, I'm first lieutenant. First lieutenant. Uh, I'm not, I'm not I'm in just, anymore. First lieutenant. But, yeah. Okay. No. Um, Do you need? Yeah, no, I absolutely uh, agree that women need men. Uh, I would disagree that um, women generalized would uh, be lost without men in terms of like their ability to make their own decisions and be decisive because I'm very decisive. I'm a leader in the military. Well, how would that be possible since you're a neurotic creature naturally? I, means, I don't know who you're talking about, but you're not talking about well, me. I'm speaking in general. Yeah, yeah, well, in general. well, I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe you. to your idea that women are. Neurotic. I'm not neurotic. Do you know um, what? Do you know the differences you don't between know me. like generalities and? No, I I know? definitely do. Yeah, I'm educated, okay. real okay. educated. Fair enough. But um, I mean, it sounds like you really don't understand what generalities is. Want me to explain it for you? Wait, Parking wait, wait. Lots. Hold on a second. Why are Why are you fighting with me right I'm now? I'm not fighting. I mean, you. I said uh, something this was my turn to answer with. a question, yeah. and I was just saying I disagree with your statement. Fair enough. Fair enough. Jory. That- Jory, let's let's roll tape now. <laughs> Now's the time to roll the tape. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying I disagree with your statement that women. In general, which is what your well, statement Amy, was. Amy, let me ask you a question. Are women as decisive as men in general? Let's say the middle standard deviation. So this is a normal distribution of men and women. Do men make more decisive decisions than women, do you think? I would say, well, first of all, I don't have enough data. But what I do know from my own experience uh, in my own you know, workforce, et cetera. Yeah. Um, there's way more men in leadership positions. Yeah. There's a lot of reasons for that. Um, I love men. I, <laughs> I I would totally disagree, quote unquote, they're better at it. Um, but uh, I definitely think men are important. They're valued. Uh, they're needed. They're an essential part of the world. Um, so I, I'm, I love men. Men are awesome. Beautiful. Andrew, you had a comment about what Jesse said earlier. What were you thinking? Yeah, it's so, um, you think that the, the reason <laughs> that... Um, Women aren't building things because that was like nobody taught them how. That's what you think. You're, uh, you're asking me a, yeah. a non-rhetorical question. I non-rhetorical. Mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure that since the beginning of time, men have put themselves at a higher education and strat. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Tell me why. I'm how, wrong. How are they? Please. How are they able to put themselves above women? You tell me from history. Well, let me ask I'm you. Asking, d- well, hang on. It was your statement. You said men have kept women away from the ability to do things that men generally do. Weren't women not allowed to go to school for a really long yeah. time? So Weren't how men are, put into government right, political yep, positions? I agree with all that. Okay. How, how is it, though, that men are able to do that and women can't stop them? You tell me. I don't know. Because they would get killed. They would be overpowered. Right. So it's okay. a force applicator, right? Okay. Yeah. So if you're talking about force, I've got to ask you something. Do you think that your rights come from you? Or do you think your rights come from men? 100% they come from men. They, they 100% come from men, right? Yeah. Okay, so men are the ones who give you your rights. I just want to make sure that we're clear on that. Because you've put yourselves in that position, yes. And you can't take us out of that position, women. I can't what? Women can't take us out of that position. Only men can, right? Well, maybe a woman could tell you to get a manicure because you need one. Okay. What's happening right now? Okay. Jory, quick, give me the t- give me the tape. <laughs> yeah, here's a personal insult. Ugh. Anyway, so back to where we were at. Well, that just lowered oh, you down really far. No, you stop, stop, stop. You don't have to go personal. Right. You need men? Men with information. You don't need to make fun of someone's voice. 
the, you mean the woman who just attacked me? <laughs> the woman who just attacked me. Oh my god, you're back. such a that's victim. I feel so bad for you. You oh were attacked. Right. Oh my god. Let's, Everyone let's, that's I feel so bad I, for you. I'm you glad were that attacked. I'm glad that there's oh, two no. twins here. It's twice as stupid. That's that's perfect. I mean, like <laughs> we definitely should focus on the intelligence side of the conversation instead of going personal. Well, a statement I made in the beginning, I said that women are in the sense of creatures and they need guidance, right? I made that statement and then I backed it up. You said, well, you disagree But that's about that. me. Let, you're let, let you're me, saying that me, about my gender. Let me, make, let me just finish my sentence. You And then you said, well, I disagree. I said that, well, generally women are neurotic, right? Neurotic means that they experience more negative emotions. And you just proved it because why are you so irate right now when we're having a regular conversation? I, you were the first person to jump down like no, at I didn't me. Jump down your yes, throat. We're you having did. a conversation. No, 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 no. We weren't having but a conversation. The, I was giving about my it, answer, and you jumped on me. We're having a conversation, but you're the only one that's experiencing negativity. No, from that's it. you. I'm not experiencing. You were the any first person to do that no, on this not. whole it's show. Replay the tape. Replay the tape. You were the first person no, to do it's it. It's not about what I'm Actually, doing. It's she about was answering the question. You interrupted her, so I 100 percent agree with her. They were having a discussion. We were having a discussion. We were having a discussion. Her. It's just no. a combative nature. That's all. It, when someone I mean, says something, like I was asked, <laughs> when I was asked the question, I gave a response, and the men decided to laugh in the faces of all the women here. When you're asking us a question, when I come on these shows, I don't come to yeah. scold or insult anyone for their intelligence 100%. or their opinion. Just me. I sit here. Just me. Yeah, because you're dumb. Just, just but me. I love you. Yeah, just me. But I sit here and I take <laughs> what everyone says and I try to learn a little bit from everybody. I might be 100% wrong in something. Me sitting here and being willing to talk to you about it and learn from you is a bigger thing than me coming here and saying, I have an opinion, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna be right no matter what. And what you did was you started a combative nature of discussion with no, her. No, the reason why and you, you guys think laughed it's in my combative face. is because you feel more negative emotions than men. I didn't feel anything negative about it. Do you understand? You're like you're missing it. No, I think you're, you're missing you're that tall. you were rude. Okay, you're missing okay. Okay. because you right. know right. that which, it was which, negative. Okay, that's okay. Why so rude. so I'm gonna I'm gonna play. Oh, 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 Amy, oh, Amy, oh, Amy, I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Okay, so what what another way of looking at this might be this, right? Women in general will feel a way range of emotions that is greater than men's. Okay, in general they will. In general, okay, I'm not saying every time. I definitely know some fucking e fives that don't female that aren't that don't do that. But on the negative side, what he's talking about with the neurosis, some women will tr will be triggered. Uh, okay, for sure. But like, uh, some women will be triggered to where they're a broken egg. All of a sudden, everything will cause them to react far more negatively. Mm -hmm. If I acted negatively to everyone who insulted me, I'd be in prison because sure. I'd be I'd be getting in fights all the time. There's certain times when I was like, hey, you know, this guy's talking shit, but I make more money than him, and he's just jealous of my girlfriend. I need to not respond. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so what he's saying is those negative emotions can be so much deeper for women sometimes that they react to them more so and i gotta say in general i agree in general i agree that that's what i see most of the time uh, also he wasn't talking about you specifically you're a lieutenant in the fucking army who went through jump school you're very different when it comes to women you're at the like three standard deviations outside the norm and so for you your experience might be different does that make sense mm. oh no absolutely but that's that's why when i hear generalized terms i say well hold on a second like you know well you you so here's the thing it, it, this is this is a show broadly about sociology Right, broadly, we're talking about society uh, yeah. dealing with itself. In order to do so, you have to use generalizations. Does that make sense? So that the, in doing so, it's going to make people upset. Uh, do you want to show the, the yeah, clip? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Now, here's the reason why I asked you all this. Yeah. Yeah. Do we need men? No. Do we need men? Um, no. No? We don't need short men. Do you need a man? <laughs> no. Do you need a man? Oh, God. Do you need a man? No. Do we need men? Why? No. Do we need men? No. No? Do we need men? We need men to make us stupid. Do we need men? <laughs> Do we need men? No. Do women need men in this world? Do we need men? I don't know. No. Why? Because we can be strong independent women. Do we need men? Like, not necessarily, but like, if I can look at them. Like, we need a man to look at. Do we need men? No. no. Why? Nobody needs men. Really? We do not need men. Why not? Why don't we need men? We all have men. Why, why would I need men? So what, do, what What? can you get from someone else that you don't get from a man? The only thing I can get from a man that I can't get anywhere else, anywhere else is dick. Okay. And I don't need dick. Do we need women? Yes. We do. Why? These women are awesome. Do we need women? <laughs> of course. Why? Because they're beautiful. Do we need women? Women make us feel compassionate and affectionate. Do we need women? Of course we do. Do we need women? Yes. Why? Because they're hot. <laughs> That's my Sartain answer they're right hot. there. Do we need women? 
Capri's I mean, sauce. shit, I'm not sure yet. We need women. Do we need women? Yeah. Yes, who's gonna do my dishes? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So there now the, the, we, we already did that. We did the Q and A here. But the question is, why were so many women so prevalent to do that? So there's a woman named Lori Gottlieb. She just wrote a book recently, yeah. and in the book she surveys a bunch of men and a bunch of women. She asks a group of men. You're like, if you got 80 percent of what you wanted in a partner, would you be happy? And the men overwhelmingly said this yes, again? they would be very happy. And they asked women. They said, if you got 80 percent of what you wanted in a partner, would you happy? And overwhelmingly, the women said no. That's settling. So there seems to be like some wow. differentiation where did. It seemed to me like these men appreciated women, but not the other way around. Why do you think all these women felt that way, that they didn't need men? We talked about this in the last episode. Men have created an unsafe place for women, and women have begged men to act right for so long. You think, you think it's unsafe? I think it's un like 50 years ago was incredibly unsafe. The World War I was way more unsafe than this. I think men have That's created a exactly very safe... That's why there's a problem in this world. It is, it is more and more unsafe, not less and less unsafe. The only thing is that it's more unsafe now in a more sneaky way than it was before, but it is a common experience for almost every woman to feel unsafe when walking out of her house. Okay, I see what you're saying. And but you don't think women felt unsafe walking out of their house previously, in I previous generations? I don't think it was as bad as it is right now. I think, I think people were, were, were getting away with stuff a lot back then too. You but don't think so? What do you say men built the house for women to feel safe in? Huh? Men built, built the house the house for women to feel safe in. Okay. Some yeah, so. some men, because I, I would love a man like I mean, that. That's even if for we sure. go from the beginning of time, that's men not even relevant. Everything. Of course, he's asking about how women feeling relevant. safe. He's not asking who builds the house. Yeah, but she, but how is she that's going to but, but how is she going to feel safe? If, like again, like, I understand the home that he built for her. Things. I understand. Things. I think he's saying it like in a non literal term. You build the house and you make the woman feel safe and you have a home with her. I understand that aspect. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm, I'm speaking just in general. You're talking about like a, a contractor that went and built something. No, just well, in general. Men built everything. You you said that, you know, you don't think that, you know, your women are safe, right? But how no, I'm can telling you, you what we think. Well, what this you is think not something is not that reality. Men, here, here's the thing. This is not something men can come on, comment on at all. This is not a you. What's your opinion at all? You don't get a say in this. Women don't feel safe. Period. Do you think that feelings supersedes reality? No. Okay. So I what you said proof. was very nonsensical. It doesn't no, no. make any I sense. I think there's proof. It doesn't make any sense. I think there's proof. What proof do proof. you have? I Plenty got more proof than you. Articles, news, anything that you see where... Je Jesse, uh, mm -hmm. women aren't less safe. We have the lowest crime rate in probably two, like maybe forever. We, you know, uh, we actually are. You should read. Gonna... There's a book about this called Enlightenment Now by uh, Stephen Pinker, and he goes over how every single, by every single metric, poverty is lower and we have less crime. And how about child mortality? How about uh, b mortality during birth? Wait, wait, I got, I got, like, I got, go I got I'm actually going to take your side, Jesse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know this gets, sounds crazy. I'm here. waiting for the, the no, sarcastic no, 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 comment. No, no, right no, 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 <laughs> sarcastic comment. You said you don't feel safe. That's that was right? exactly my point. You don't. You do you think that women are unsafe, or do you think that they just feel unsafe for a lot of different, like various reasons? Do you, is it a feeling, or is it is it something that you can say, you know what, we're less safe today than we were before, or is it a general kind of like you you just said, I'm speaking for women on behalf of women, right? Mm -hmm. We feel unsafe mm -hmm. you would you i would agree with you on that and i'll tell you yeah. why because women are the vulnerable sex right they are the ones that men have to have protect provide and, prov and provision for for since we were running around in the sub-saharan african savannas as you know hunter gatherers okay so when women say i feel unsafe it's generally because they're the ones that are, are charged with uh, having children, being the incubators of the next generation. So how do, you, of course you're gonna feel unsafe because when you are pregnant with a child for nine months at a, at a pop and then have another one and another one after that, then yes, you're the vulnerable sex and rely on men to help have them make you feel safe to in a very chaotic world that you know death is right around the corner, right? So the feeling, I understand. The logic behind that, are you actually safe, are you not, that's, that can be debated, but the feeling of it, I think a lot of women do actually agree with you. They would say, I don't feel safe because of um, you know, any number of reasons. Whether that's logical or that's, there's actually something behind that, I think it's something that's sort of hardwired into women's psyches because they're the ones that have to bear the children and they're in a very vulnerable position. And that's also proves my point why yeah. women need guidance, which I had a problem with in the beginning of the podcast when you first started. So think about it. If you don't naturally, you're saying that we don't feel safe. 
Well, we you just said that uh, feelings doesn't supersede reality, right? So that means that reality is real, but your feelings aren't necessarily real. They can be real, but they aren't necessarily, meaning that you can have a feeling that actually uh, equals to the reality. But what I'm saying is, this is why women need guidance, because they can feel whatever, and they need a man, a masculine man, that's going to guide them in the right direction. I have so. to agree with you to a point here, because... I like what you're saying in terms of, and I think a lot of women would also yeah. agree with me that if there was quality men right. that actually were true leaders, where they had their shit together, where they were building the home that you're speaking metaphorically and physically for their partner, et cetera, we would definitely feel, to your point earlier, more comfortable in our feminine energy and to be kind of that, you know, supportive figure to our men to, you know, set them up to be the leader. But so the if problem they did is, the shit that you want, then they'll lead, then they can lead. No, not the shit that you want, but to well, create. What is the things that well, you're talking about? Well, if you let me about? finish, sir, um, <laughs> uh, what I'm referring to is like you have a very, very valid point in terms of like needing a male to be kind of the safe place, the the protector, the provider, the partner, you know, the the defender, all of these things. But the problem is in today's society, those types of men are dwindling. Yeah. So back to my question that I that I asked you that you didn't, you didn't answer. ask me a question actually you just interrupted me while i was speaking but go i ahead. did ask you a question i'll ask it again here was the question okay. that i asked i said what would that stuff be other than material stuff okay that's the first time you've asked me that question first of all i didn't say anything about material stuff no no i said something about material stuff because it's my question to you you didn't ask me a question sorry but you, i did you, ask you a question what's your question i i just i'll ask you again okay. other than material shit uh -huh. what are these qualities that you think are going to make you feel safe okay well Probably first a of all lot of things that you i think you're have. making a lot of assumptions about me which you don't you don't know me so in terms of i'm just i'm responding to what you just said yeah i didn't say anything about material as uh, uh, no but items. i think you did that's the whole no, point she, she, she i literally said nothing about, about providing items. a home like emotionally she didn't say anything about jewelry or whatever you think that she thinks yes but what? I, I did, well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the non-physical things I named because I named several. I said nothing physical, by the way. I think I made one reference to a home and I said a metaphorical okay. home. So just just chill out. I'm talking about listen, being a partner. Listen to what I'm asking you. Okay, it's, Listen to what I'm actually asking you. You say, if we have hyper-masculine men who are doing X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. then we'll let them lead. Okay. Other than material, what do you mean by this? Okay, that, so you, you just phrased it better and less, and less attacking. So what I mean by that is somebody who you can rely on that's uh, communicative, that is, uh, when I say rely on, I mean like if you you know want to talk to them, they pick up the phone. They're not ghosting for three days, so they're a reliable partner. Um, they're a partner in terms of like, you know, if you want to, if you both have jobs, you're both bringing income to the table, you're both bringing food to the table, you're um, creating a trustworthy relationship, you're loyal to one another, you have respect for one another, appreciation, gratitude. There's all these incredible things that are essential for a successful relationship. I'm just talking about being a good friend, a good partner or a reliable, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. That's all I'm talking about. So what puts you in the position where you think he should lead is just these qualities that you're talking about of friendship and this type of thing. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I could give you so many examples where um, I, you know, was in relationships where I really wanted that uh, from somebody else, where they were creating an environment that was secure and safe, and um, I could rely on them and trust them. Um, but that didn't happen, you know, like, maybe they weren't working, they were living with their mom, um, you know, they weren't showing me that they were able to be, you know, kind of a, a torchbearer. That was me doing that, you know, so that's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking for material anything. I'm just asking for a loyal, trustworthy, reliable partner oh, i mean if they're living with their mom they're not working those would be material conditions right what the i hell? guess in some respect but then also not material too uh in terms of just like you know you out of a partner i want someone who has goals ambition uh drive you know Which there's all these other material things. right these uh, are material conditions i feel, well, like, in term I feel like you guys are like kind of overwhelmed with the feminine energy so you guys are just no, automatically I attacking I, I don't think so I don't think that's yeah, what it is no, I think they're attacking they're thriving, so why, thriving why in the chaos I'm not sure, I'm not, I'm not sure if that's what that, what's going <laughs> on there. in terms We're of kind of like the, the physical things that you guys are talking about I just want to make a really clear distinction just so no one's confused in terms of like material things yeah. I don't need stuff I'm not a stuff girl I don't have purses you know you, I'm not a, I'm not a stuff girl just to clarify I mean I'm a girl that will eat an MRE in, in your backyard in a camping you know a tent like yeah. and I'm just as happy so I want to clarify by material things for me are very different from material things for me are you know security making sure that i'm okay making sure like if i you know if i'm sick for a few weeks i can take a couple weeks off work and my partner's got me you know what i mean like 
just being a, I guess in some respects that's a little bit materialism, sure, but it's all not, materialism. not in the to way that you're thinking. So that you understand, <clears throat> we're talking about materialism. Mm -hmm. Rollo brings up this point. He says, women want this security because they're the more, more vulnerable sex. Okay. So to the point of safety, it's really women have made it in the shade safety wise, right? So he's probably right that this is a mental block. I mean, women used to get attacked by literal wolves, right? Like that actually happened. Their dresses would catch on fire in the 1700s and they would burn to death. Not a joke, right? Those were real safety concerns. Those don't really exist anymore. So when I'm asking this question, I'm talking about the mentality of is this mental thing which is going on for I'm unsafe, does this have to do with material conditions? Or is this some other form of conditions which is causing this mental state of, I feel unsafe? I feel like women feel unsafe today because everything that you see on the news is some crazy individual attacking a, a woman. What do, you mean, what do you wrong? mean specifically? What, like, can you be specific uh, attacking a woman? What do you mean? I mean, like, not necessarily attacking a woman, but like, you can hear all of these um, news stories about, you know, individuals crossing the border, you know, in the cartel. And raping women. I've had my house broken into twice. Are you not hearing these things twice daily? In the yeah, last, that happens a lot. I've, Human trafficking. I've had yeah. my house broken into twice. I live in LA in the last year. Yeah. So I know. think if I think the more women pay attention to the news and the things that are going on in the world, I feel like that can create a fear in itself. It doesn't well, mean that it's actually happening. Well, you're you bringing up a good point. So, 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 so it's environment, material conditions. Uh, 80, <laughs> 80 percent of the victims of violent crime <clears throat> are men. They're not women. Against mm -hmm. each other. Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, mo for the most part, there is some. I forgot. Doctor Buss had one. It was something like eighty-eight percent of murders are men killing other men over women, or something like that. And it was like like six percent were women killing other women, or something like that. But yeah, for the most part, while you may feel unsafe, the brunt of that unsafeness is actually men having to deal with that. We're yeah. the ones who have to get the shotgun and go downstairs when there's a noise um, in the kitchen. Yeah. Right. I'm not saying I particularly yeah. feel unsafe. I'm. I can understand why other women feel for sure. unsafe for sure. because. I don't personally like to live in fear. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, there might be a statistic where, like, there's a certain amount of women that get ripped every day, whatever. I'm not going to pay attention to that because I feel like the more that you fear something, the more that you draw those kind of circumstances into your life. So I just choose not to live that way. Nice. Okay. Good. Law of attraction. Everybody, everybody's going to say, Ali, did you have something to say? You have some crossfire you want to throw at me? I think just say that scared. I interrupted you and just I feel cuss like at me. Everybody going outside of their doors these days should have a little bit of fear behind them. Yeah. Male and female. I get the. Like Miranda said, I can understand why a lot of women feel safe. A big thing to me is like who you surround yourself with. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I have a lot of people who in my life that I feel like can protect me or would have my back. A lot of these being males that I can count on or that I would call for specific reasons for things that I need that I'm not or I can't handle myself. So just like the basic question of needing men and I don't know, if you want to feel safer, maybe you should have like a band of men behind you who are going to have your back. Why do you think it is that all those women in that video said, I don't need a man? Half of them were drunk, first of all. Well, okay. yeah, like, yeah. They're younger yeah. women. Well, they well, all look yeah. under well, 20, that's, I'm, glad, I'm glad you point that out because when, when, yeah. when they're drinking, that, it's truth serum. Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. they're, they're all said it laughing and joking. That's right. They and, all and were saying it truth. laughing. Every single one of them said it with mm -hmm. laugh and smile and joking around. I think if you actually sat them down and individually asked them in a serious setting, they would more than half of them change their answer. Wait, I think it table... goes back to like a juvenile thing as well, to where it's just like, ew, boys. And then the guy's like, oh, they're so hot. And exactly. So in that initial reaction of like playfulness, like, oh, ew, I don't need him. I think a lot of us initially have that. It's also the, the, the same reason why the podcast bring on nothing but a bunch of 22-year-old girls and ask them questions that they know they haven't had right. life experience. experience. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They want to clown and they want to be like little kids, like, oh, you farted. They want to make fun of women. <laughs> they literally want to make who, fun who of do women. You think, who do you think is deliberately going after 22 year old girls? Hold on. Okay. <laughs> we'll get to you in a second. Michael. But like, they will make fun of women who are all, oh, just tell that girl to shut up. She's 32 years old. Okay. So you rather have a 19 year old girl, 22 year old girl sitting here who can't answer the questions. Mm -hmm properly because she doesn't have the life experience it's a lack of maturity it's the the um 
incels that just want to troll. They want to make fun of people for getting older as if they're not going to get older, as if their mother doesn't get older. And they all just want to laugh at stuff. But if you actually sat one of these drunk girls down or asked them in a setting that wasn't leaving the club where they probably just had their ass slapped 20 times and guys trying to grope them and their friends that are just trying to dance and have a good time, they probably would have a different answer. Didn't some That's of you the, a lot of situation. That, yeah, I don't need a man. Did anyone here say that? Well, I was just going to say that. I think most of the girls here at this table said that they did, right? <laughs> yeah, most yeah, of them so... did. I think I think so none, of ya, none of y'all drunk. So what? what well, though no, they so said they, they we did. said we do. We do need rent. So we here's need, a, here, here's yeah, the difference. Everyone said that though. Almost every single person here said they. Okay, but that was surprising. That's surprise me, all quite the women honestly. in the video who were drunk who said they didn't. Sure yeah. enough, yeah. Uh, so here's the thing: proximate and ultimate cause of things. Right. The proximate, the ultimate cause. I'm sorry, you all fucking need men. Uh, you have no idea the entire infrastructure. I think all of us said that we for did. sure. For sure. Yeah. I'm just I'm just yeah. making a declaration for anybody else who's watching. From a proximate cause, you don't because a woman can get a Glock and make 300K a year and have no association with men, whatever, and not deal with a lot of stuff. Um, I think societally, it's easier to be a woman now than a man because of some of those things that we're talking about. Mm. So approximately, maybe a woman doesn't need a man, but ultimately, we all need men. You do because all the freedoms that you have were because men were willing to be incredibly violent on your behalf. Some men who died 200 years before you were born were willing to kill other men in order for you to have that level and of women. freedom. And, me, and we, yeah, there were some women there, yes. Absolutely. There we go. And it's we have horrible. a love connection here. But I think, have, I think all the... We're going green to blue. There, green there's, to blue. A lot of, um, uh, there's a lot of women out there that say they don't need men, and then you look at their lives, and it's like, okay, well, you have a male boss. You know, your dad's sending you $200 a month. You know, there, there's all these men around them helping them, and I think that's one thing women really need to recognize is there's so many amazing men in your life, whether they're related by blood, whether they're your boyfriend or not. There's some man around you that's helping you out in some way, shape, or form. I think a lot of these women think it's cool to say we don't need men. Right. Yeah. Sometimes well, it's a, it's a feminism like, movement. Okay. So I feel like it's very trendy right now yeah. to say that, like, hey, I don't need a man. Like, yeah. we live in this world that I don't need a man. Girl power. I think it's just, yeah. So when we do, sometimes we do the shows and we'll ask girls to rate themselves. If the first girl says she's a seven, we get a lot of sevens and sixes and fives <laughs> and eights. If the fir first girl says she's a ten, all of them say that. But that's tens. the four minute mile rule right there. What do you mean? You know, the first person to break, break the, four the four minute, minute mile, mile was, yeah. it was 2,000 years after the mile was created, exactly. and the second person was 43 days later. Yeah. Yeah. No, I understand what you're saying, but like, th that's the thing. What I found is that whenever. It, I think a lot of these women saw other women being like, fuck no, I don't need men. And it just like, it starts right. to snow, snowball. Whereas the men, you guys see that maybe men are like willing to put up with more and then like still appreciate it. Is that possible? Do you guys see that in just in general? I think men put up with a lot from women. Okay. Absolutely. Go ahead. Absolutely. Go with that, I Lieutenant. Mean, to your point earlier, you know, yeah. I do think, and, and, I, and I, I know this because I've seen some studies on it, that women are definitely more emotional. I don't like the word neurotic, which is why I got a little defensive earlier, because neurotic is considered a very negative tone, like a negative thing in general. Like women get called crazy, women get called neurotic, right? They get called all of these but you labels. Know, you even saying that proves the point that neurotic fits you. I just don't, I, I, I think your scientific explanation of it earlier, that makes it go down a little bit smoother because when you just label someone something, it's like, well, you don't, we've known each other for literally yeah, five minutes. The fact that you're upset with a label, you're proving my no, I'm, point. I'm trying to make it clear that there's so many assumptions out there about women. Like women just get like tossed off. Like if you look in the comments, even right now, we get called 304s, we get called crazy. Like our opinions are never taken Here's another seriously. Word, catastrophizing. Women tend to catastrophize more than men. That means I agree that with they that. look They're they go to the dramatic extremes. effect. Dramatic, dramatic effect, yeah. That Hyper plays hyperbole. Yeah. 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 yeah, dramatic effect. I, I agree with that. Is that a better word that. for you? Sure. Yes. Okay. Worst case scenario. That goes down yeah. a little smoother. We can, listen, we're going to get a thesaurus out here when we go eat yeah. sushi <laughs> after this and yeah. we're going to I think I'm it's the that. delivery and I said this to you Thank outside. It's the delivery because you can't drop a bomb on someone in a kind of condescending, rude or disrespectful manner. And then, be, oh, you're being neurotic. Oh, oh, look at you being defensive. Look at you being an emotional right. girl. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't say that you did. I didn't point. Hold on, hold on. I didn't do any of that. Yeah, I'm not I mean, saying what that if you, you did. What if you I'm did? saying there like, is a delivery when, and a way when, when to that do again make his point? And that's why you I see a different that, reaction. From different remember, people. who said that, well, what's going on here? Are, are, do you guys can't handle the feminine energy? I think it's the reverse. I think you can't handle the masculine energy. I did it. Who, well, if we couldn't handle that? the masculine energy, why would we surround ourselves with men like Michael and Rolo? They are so masculine. No, I no, think no, that's no, also no. a very narcissistic comic to say. You can't just throw out a bullet answer. and be like, oh, you got hurt. Oh, why are you so right, like, right, like, it doesn't right, make any right. sense. What does it doesn't make any mean? sense. Like, you can't just shoot a girl and be like, oh my God, I'm in pain. It's like, well, calm down. Like, like it's complete gaslighting, it's narcissism, it's means? everything that. I mean, you know about I this. Have to, I, I, I use terms. I use terms and I define them. Can you define it? 
I, I just did. You Don't put me on the spot and tell me to do something. Wait, you're you're ready. ready, three countries. Let's go. One, two, three. Go. Name three countries. Why don't you tell Name three so books in the Old Testament. Easy. One, two, three. Go. Let's do it. I think women pick up on energy and the tone behind the words that you yes. say a lot. Yeah. And that's why she had the reaction that she had because For it sure. came from a very so let's, shabby let's, tone. Let's tr- because you that's speak different languages. Okay, it's let's try this. Let's try this. Let's go back 200,000 years ago. Actually, let's go back 20,000 years ago. Let's go back. We're living in. Uh, hunter, hunter gatherer tribes in I different places. There we go. You know the time machine. Drop? Let's say, let's say we live. Let's say we live, say we live back in that time period. During that time period, let's say that there were there were very clear gender roles. That's one of the reasons why evolutionary psychology is like so derided. Is because uh, people on the left don't like the idea of gender roles. In this concept, let's say what were men being rewarded for? Men were re- rewarded for being better uh, hunters. Better hunters. Better. Uh, con- they construct fortification. Mm-hmm. They're the ones who protected them from other tribes. So men having assertive testosterone based attributes were things that they were rewarded for and what were they rewarded with what were they rewarded with? Was it money? What were you rewarded Women with? Pussy. Lying. You were rewarded with vagina. That's what they were rewarded with. She so that they're, they're, and you guys can look up no, sexy okay. sons hypothesis if you want to learn about this. For women, what would they be rewarded for? Who has more to lose when you have random casual sex? A man or a woman? The woman does. It, during the if you go down to the plasticine epic That's nasty. If a man if a woman has sex with the wrong man, she dies. She's ostracized from the tribe, and there's no welfare for her. She's right. just dead. So for her, she has to lose more. So which of the two genders in that case would be more sensitive to other people's reactions? 100%. I mean, so what, what I'm saying is it's an evolutionary adaptation for why women are more sensitive. He's not wrong. That's the reason. Well, but the reason I, why. I, I, yeah. yeah. We, we, we're for sure. on the same page. For sure. Yeah, yeah. But that I'm is the right. reason why. There's, if you have one gender whose job it is, like, again, when, when if you were to say women's number one job was to protect my son, my wife, her number one job is to protect my son, to the point where if I died, she's going to choose between me and my son, she chooses the son, I'm okay with that. If that's one women's one superpowers, I'm going to protect the fuck out of my children, that's great. That's awesome. But but it comes with some side effects. And some of those side effects are like when you say your son's a genius when he's not a fucking genius and you do anything you can to get him into a certain preschool or that kind of stuff or like the parents who are like on the football team are like, why is my son playing more? There's delusions that happen that go along with that. But these illusions are adaptations that we needed in order for the species to survive. Does that make sense? Mm, okay. Does everybody understand? It's not insulting you. It's just that's the way things, you know, uh, those are the proclivities that are aided in our survival. It feels yeah. good that I don't have to break it down like that on my podcast. I, I got literally do the same things that y'all doing but yeah. i literally i could just chill today and just give them that ism so yeah Duh. beautiful <laughs> beautiful beautiful okay do you want to oh, go with another wait, one before i do i've got to i have to uh, correct uh, jesse one more time oh good lord why sorry me? sorry because you said that uh fresh and fit just get dumb hoes on their show <laughs> i said they get uh, a bunch of every time every time this happens were you talking about fresh and fit or were you talking about the video every time every well basic Both. all yeah no fresh yeah. and fit does and not usually said, get no the words fresh and fit never came out of my mouth that's a, why the well, podcast who else here. okay so uh for fresh and fit anyways uh they've had a uh, last count anyways thank you big mo uh, tw- uh, 2,132 female guests. Ages range from 18 to 46. Uh, from 45 different U.S. states, 61 different countries, with 181 different job titles, including unemployment and 159 Frank Castles. Frank Castles. There, there we go. I also did two thank, panels thank you, with Big Mo, over for your 40. contributions. I did two panels with all women over 40. I pretty much did you the guys same realize thing. I wasn't like trying to say you did this or you did that. We I understand. said no, no, the podcast well, well, that are floating but see, that's, on the internet. Well, Jesse, I, I'll, I'll tell you this. Like, so, so there is a, there's two issues. There's, number one, I don't think it's hard enough to get 10 girls to come on a show, period. So <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like to, to be select. The idea that I only want young, and I'm, I know you're talk, not talking about me, but the only idea that I want young or dumb is not true. The thing is, when I come on here, I try to get the three M's. I try to get mother's, master's degrees, and I try to get married. And when I do so, the answers are exactly the same from the 22-year-old girls with an OnlyFans. It's it's exactly the same answers. This is my point. It's like, I don't think they're selecting for dumb young girls. I think they're just getting what they're getting. Now, on whatever podcast, I will grant you, there's a lot of girls who go in anime costumes who are just there to get fucking attention. I agree with that. Not yes. so much on Fresh and Fit. Fresh and Fit will have surgical nurses and fucking master's degrees on there all the time. Yeah, and so but you guys we. are studying different topics. You guys are specifically focused on like red pill, blue pill content. And mm-hmm. then you bring on women that have never researched these topics. They're not reading the content you're reading. And mm-hmm. then you guys mm-hmm. make examples of them exactly. for views. I That's have that's I've had a, what happens. I've had a little bit of a this anger with him sometimes because I will religiously ask him before the podcast, what are we talking today about? I'm because sorry, I should have sent you not, the I should have sent you the videos. I do not like walking into a situation where I sound or feel stupid because I can't contribute mm-hmm. because I didn't know that this thing yeah. happened or so, whatever it is that they're discussing. Yeah. And he's like, Don't worry, just come on. And I am like, No. 
absolutely yeah, not. Yeah, like we, we're not sitting here with laptops. And that, that's the problem that they have, have a lot of unaware, uneducated on the topic at hand girls come on oh, I agree with and that. they look dumb yeah. and they look uneducated and yeah. they're young and like it's it just you pile on a lot of components where women are being stacked up against right and that is what keeps uh circulating through social it, media isn't there some it's level... not the clips of the very smart woman right. having an intellectual conversation with the men it's always <laughs> there's always see there's always the, the <laughs> clips of the 22 year old i have had sex with 70 guys this week and that's what men think of women and that's what's going around and that's why everyone is talking shit and saying 304s whatever why do they well, get in fan why is it you treat them like babies like if you know you're going on a podcast I would, wouldn't you do research on no. what? Wait, what, what yeah, so research, 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 research everything back in the catalog. world so, in case I know for sure what they're going to discuss. It doesn't need to be. You have to research everything in the world, that, but you can get a general so idea for. I, I didn't even know who else was coming the on the show until. Let, let me try, let me try this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can still go through David, the if you, backlog if, of the content. If Joe Rogan, they usually talk about. If Joe Rogan was going to have you on your his show, would you do some research before? For sure. How much would you do? A lot. I would do at least. Me at least twenty two hours of research. I'll do a week. Yeah, a week. Oh, okay. just, I would be. And then you I walk would, on there, and the what he talks about has nothing to do no, with not, anything no, that, that, that you. But Joe Rogan lets you do whatever so you then want. What? Yeah. I would be so rock solid when I did whatever podcast. If I would, if I ever have to do a debate against uh, Andrew, you better fucking believe. When I, with, with Destiny, uh, oh, yeah. that was thirty hours of research I did yeah. before I went up yeah. with Destiny. But do you know, I am never taking a fucking L. On with a million people watching me, that is not going to fucking happen. Yeah, yeah. So that's the thing. Like sometimes we, yeah, it is. Huh? <laughs> yeah it okay, is. all right, here we go. Yeah, Andrew's coming for me. Well, no, it's Andrew's just, coming for but me. But see, a lot of times it's designed, and I, I can sort of understand what Jesse's saying here is because I have gone on to podcasts where I have debated like people like Ruslan, for example. It's like they, there was no topics ever thrown at me for that, and they're, they're saying, "Well, you know, you should own, you should know this, and you should know that." And you know, I'm like, "Well, if I'm on trial." If it's not mm -hmm. a debate anymore and it's just like an mm -hmm. indictment or just sort of, you know, a witch hunt, well, of course, I'm, 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 I'll, you know, defend myself as yeah. best as I can. But it's like you can study somebody up to a point, but if they're going to say, okay, well, we're not going to talk about anything I've talked about in the past. And we're going to talk exactly. about, I don't know, nuclear proliferation exactly. or some shit like that. I'm like, okay, well, I'm at a disadvantage here. But those are the exceptions yeah. to the rule. True. Right? True. I mean, true. usually that's not the case. Well, I no, understand you, you can so, walk into ambushes, things like that. Right. It happens. The Lord knows I have. Yeah. yeah. Same. Every, yeah. Every, everybody but has. But I will say this. When I, went, when I went on Dr. Phil, I did about you know 60 hours worth mm -hmm. of my homework on that because I knew what I would be walking into on something like that. But if it's something that's a little more casual or you, where people are saying, hey, why don't you come on my show and we're going to talk about this. I don't think I, – I, I can understand how some podcast it might be that way, like maybe whatever where it's like the price is right and everybody's got a costume on and they're all supposed to look at like, you know, I don't know, idiots or whatever. And – I, I understand that, but that's the thing is, is that if you know that podcast, you know what you're getting into already. You know, Dude. you know that it's we're all going to wear. Well, you but know, how do you know what you're getting? We're going to look like the Red Bear and go study. Wait, wait, wait. How do you know what you're getting into? Yeah. Well, because you have to go and you have to do because the you went, on you it. did the yeah. research yeah. and you figured it right. right. Is it worth is it worthwhile to right. do? That? And I was going to say, Jesse, I think that was one of the reasons why we started the show in the first place is because we're not trying to put women on the spot, which is what we're I said to you to, last yeah, time. Exactly. I come on the show with yeah. you guys not because I'm just his friend for so long, but because you could have a completely different of opinion or perspective and you guys are not about to make the girls sitting in here feel stupid we can disagree or agree to disagree or agree or whatever but you guys don't make us feel bad for it yeah. however proof in the pudding as soon as i opened my mouth the very first question asked the two of them died laughing and they thought it was really funny before i could even get my sentence out there's just a different way to manage how you come across to people and how you treat them. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's the only reason why I come on here with Got you guys. It. So uh, here's another thing. Like I am, didn't laugh. It was just me. <laughs> yeah, it was just, I didn't <laughs> laugh at all. He's, oh, not, my he's not throwing him under the bus. Um, I, I have a coaching program, so I have to be a little bit more political. These oh, guys so you would be mean these to me guys, These guys otherwise. are incredible, Much incredible more. content totally. creators that don't have to They don't have to do that. They don't have. They can sit there and say exactly what they feel. They're not really concerned See, about this, here, sparing so, anyone else's One of feelings. the things that you're saying is something that I think is a common complaint that women just simply don't get with. I was just saying a moment ago that men and women tend to speak past each other. We just saw a video right now where women are like, yeah, men ain't shit. Fuck, we don't need no man. And then you have all these men saying, yeah, we love women. We want to get with women. You know, we need women. Uh, women are hot, whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. You see, what happens is you can, you can sugarcoat things and you can put things into, you can tone police yourself 
But eventually it becomes, uh, it's not about the tone, it's about what you're imparting. It's about the content of the communication. And, it's about the information yeah. being related, yeah. as opposed to saying, I mean, you can, you can sugarcoat it and make it as nice as possible, but it's still going to punch you in the face because if it's something that you disagree with that is factually true, then it's still going to have the same effect. But I think if you, like, for example, you probably have some incredible knowledge that I would find really interesting and useful and probably change my mind on some things, but I think the way you come across is so like off-putting where it's like i'm immediately defensive i'm like why are you being like that you know i like, can tell you why well, 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 well hold on let me finish let me finish what i was gonna say is like i would love to have a conversation with you and listen to what you have to say but just it would be nice if you would at least try <coughs> to do it from a place of education and you know sharing ideas instead of like yeah, slam dunking but that's what i've been doing i that's not how right, it's being i received. don't feel that way no that's not how it's being received <laughs> yeah i don't feel that way I could tell okay, you why. Well, I could, I could that's tell what you're saying. Yeah, I don't feel that way. No, I, I think yeah, 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 everybody look, here at the look, table, I don't know, except for you, I'm not speaking for you. They sure. don't feel that um, way. I promise you that you are definitely coming across as rude and condescending. Andrew, can I ask you a question? Wait, before you get to that, so oh, I could tell you why. The reason why I feel this way, because we ain't trying to smash. I mean, I can speak for, my, for no, myself. This is my first time in Vegas, and I ain't trying to hit nothing. Listen, so I've been listen, in the military for a long why. time. Work with mostly men. That makes you like I work with mostly men. Listen, I work with mostly men. Guys, let, let's go let one at a time. Let's go, David, and then and then Amy. <laughs> so yeah, reason why you feel like oh, you guys are being rude and stuff like that because there's not a ink anything a, a a molecule in my in my veins and my bones that wants that wants to smash you but the type of guys you're used to is blue pill guys that mm -hmm. say anything to you and pander to you when they mm -hmm. see you oh you're you're gorgeous you got this and this the blonde hair da, 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 da. they're gonna pander to you so you're used to guys no. acquiesce in their behaviors to get inside your drawers amy i'm do, not acquiescing do, do, do any guys ever do that you don't think guys ever gaslight no, women uh, oh of course but here's the thing i have been i was in Most the military guys. let me let me just tell you i was in the military for 16 but years mean? okay I got treated like absolute shit most of my career, okay? And I promise you, there were so many men that were incredible instructors that had no intent of doing anything more that, with me than being an instructor. That's it, you wanna talk about leading? Then lead by example and, and give information to women that you're trying to educate or whatever, but do it in an instruction, instructional fashion where you're not being off-putting. Do you, do you wanna have a war with women? Do you wanna be disrespectful to women? Do you want us to not like you? Like, I don't know what your intent is no, you when you're guidance. coming across. That's what I said in the beginning but of the, the guidance, com guidance, guidance. Guidance. guidance comes from a good, kind place. Let me ask and you one Hold on, hold on. You, guidance okay, go comes from a no, good, I kind do. place. <laughs> and when it's done in a, in a demeaning fashion yeah. where it's down like talking down and being disrespectful and rude there's never going to be a point where we're meeting in the middle and like i'm even open to receiving the information because it's disrespectful it's off-putting and did and you have a father in your life absolutely i have your a great relationship that was a my really dad. fucked up question i have a, oh, you can I have ask great, what, what, I have a demographic question wow Why would that be but it's a demographic <laughs> question you could ask my dad died when i was in 2006 it's not it's a demographic yeah. question i have but, a great but, relationship so, but here's yeah. the thing you know i i, I know i know where you're coming question. from but the thing is you think that he's accusing her of being this way because she didn't have a dad but you can but that's the point you should be able to ask the question first but just the fact that you're even saying those words out loud you're making an assumption no no no, no. it is no, 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 so this I is, actually, this no, is no, imagine imagine, imagine if she yeah. said to you like Psh, what do you have a mother what do you have a sister are you married but he didn't you, do his neck like that I, like that's the thing you're putting you're putting emotion in a dispassionate question that he had right there you can ask the question okay so she said to him oh are you married do you have a mother yeah, but that's not. How is yeah. that offensive? And like, I wasn't offended I wouldn't by give the a question. Fuck. <laughs> someone asked me if I'm married. No, of course yeah. not. You don't find that offensive. If someone asked me if I have a mother, question. why would I care? Well, considering the topic of conversation <laughs> and where we are, I think that's really. Offensive. I just think he was yeah. segueing into the next uh, part uh, of his oh, thing, but yeah. I understand me where Ava, Ava, I, was I choose to not be offended. There's a great book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. <laughs> I choose to not give a fuck if somebody says something, and then later on judge them based on the content of their character. Like initially, when I'm sitting there talking to somebody, when they may say, man, I thought that dude might have been insulting, but I'm just going to chill and like hang out for a while. And the next thing I know, me and Andrew are friends. You see how it works? You just kind of chill out and listen. And then you find out that nobody here has any like animosity. I promise you these two guys aren't going to take anything you say personally. Yeah, not Nothing. Not. And Trust then let me explain me. why so I asked The reason this happened, ahead, yeah. just so you know, is because you're engaged in a meta conversation. You're having a conversation about the conversation. I don't care about the conversation about the conversation. I care about the conversation. So don't care if it sounds bad or it sounds mean or it sounds rude or there's nothing i'm saying which is untoward i'm just looking at the conversation itself 
That's but it. I disagree with that because you're doing it while also like mimicking you're the girls. You're still girl. having a meta conversation. Nope, nope. You're disrespectful to the girls when you're making fun of their voices. That's, That's still a not, meta conversation. No, I'm sorry, but it's it's nothing to do with the topic. You are what is the topic? You are moving away from what the topic. What is the topic? Well, he right now, right now it's the meta conversation is the topic. So. And I'm not interested in the meta Mar- conversation. Miranda, I'm interested yeah. in the I topic. I'm going to be interested about nothing you have to say while you're being disrespectful. There's nothing uh-huh. disrespectful to meta conversation. Your question to me was, did I have a great relationship with my dad? I did. I have an yeah. amazing relationship with my father. He lives in England. I go see him all the time. I, he, I grew up with him. He was an incredible father. Okay. He lives in England. You go see him all the time. Yeah. Oh, you were about to do something? No, go ahead. Yeah, you, so you, you the reason something. why I asked that question is because, I mean, I do a podcast where I bring on, you know, six to eight girls a night. And uh, what I've observed, I'm not talking about you, but mm-hmm. what I've observed with speaking with many, many women is that they lack the ability to digest a man's love, right? Mm. And that man's love first comes from a father. So it may mm. seem rude that I'm the way I'm speaking and the way I'm conveying myself to you. It may seem rude and I'm attacking you, but I'm not attacking you. I got nothing but love for y'all. So that's why I asked that question. Uh, well, I think you're actually being a lot more respect. Like, I think once we kind of got to a good working rhythm, mm-hmm. like we're fine now. Like, yeah. I, like I, I feel like the way you talk is very respectful. Yeah. So I'm good. I'm good with us. Hey, but like, I have asked that question on several occasions. Like, do you have brothers? Do you have do you have a yeah. father? It was, hey, it I, don't, I don't think demographic questions yeah. are like that. But if he had said, yeah. hey, you're acting like you don't have a father, that would be offensive because then there's a- additional context. Totally, but just even asking the question is the, the thought and the you got to be able you got to be able to ask questions. Now, going back to what Andrew said. He was talking about content and context. Andrew is in, in, interested in the content of the discussion. This is data moving across like a fiber optic, optic cable. There's no emotion. You guys are uh, in, interested in the context of the conversation. And in doing so, we never get anywhere because we're having a conversation about the conversation. Right, it's a meta right. conversation. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Miranda, you were going to say something to Andrew? Yeah. Um, Andrew, do you mind if I ask you a personal question? Yes. <laughs> What's well, your relationship with your mom I'll, like? I'll be respectful and not ask it. <laughs> You want to ask me? Well, I was going to ask when um, his last relationship was and how that ended. He's married, right? He's married. He's, okay. no, he's got one. Yeah, he's got a good one at home. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Takes well, care of him. That's why I was wondering because it felt, him coffee it and felt cigarettes. Like, like I just don't understand like where I'm an, inc- the... I'm an incel. Right? <laughs> oh. Oh, that God. wasn't an, an and assumption. I hate my mama. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I was feeling from the way that you are speaking is that there was a, there's some kind of like hatred towards women. That's where it feels like there's a lot of angst behind the words that you're saying, and that's simply why I wanted to ask so, the question. I was, I was sure. thinking yeah, so, in my head that it was possible. So let me respond. That you had just a so you know bad so. interaction. From my perspective, mm-hmm. okay, I do aggressive, high-level online debates with some of the most brutal personalities you can imagine, and I beat them. The thing is, is like particularly from South America. All, all, all I'm looking at, <laughs> all I'm looking at here, uh, that's not disrespectful. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't do that. I didn't. All right, do that. that's not disrespectful. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Just what I did. You did, you did He's really good. Uh, I wouldn't. You didn't anyway, see me do it. Just, just you, didn't, you didn't see me. So do anyway, it. what I'm saying is, is that for me, I'm not looking for the. This is my meta analysis. This is what I think about what I think. This is what I think about the conversation that we're having. I'm just interested in the in actually what the conversation is, so we can just get into it. And I then we agree. Can figure out what's going on? But while you're telling me you're not interested in the conversation you, about the conversation, don't tell me how you feel right now. Please. I'm not telling you how I feel. I'm telling you exactly what you did. You distracted from the topic of the conversation by making you when feel you, bad. Nope. When you degraded when you degraded the woman that you I were speaking to. Didn't degrade anybody. It just you did. made you feel bad because you, that's how you felt. No, you made fun of someone. Who? All the women at the table, by when? the way, uh, several times throughout this conversation. Go ahead and name one the of the tape. insults. When you were saying, uh, when you were mimicking their voice. After the one insulted me? You did it multiple times, after not After they just insulted then. me? You did it so multiple times. After I was insulted. Okay, it's well, just then, the, it's the tone behind it. It's like so earlier, we like, we're not trying to fuck you, you guys. Just all that. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying really if you, if, why is it, if I you never hit, said I we hit could back, insult you. that's on me, not No, 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 I never said we could insult you. I just said I wouldn't do that, respectfully. I wouldn't do that. Every time I open my mouth, I can see, like, who beeps like his his eyes twitch like he wants no, to like no, say I something mean, mean, all right nice. joy give me give, give me the screen again joy well actually i'm gonna say the reason why go ahead Laura, the reason finish. why i did that in the beginning mm-hmm. is because the moment we sat down he stared down at me for like 20 seconds when he had an issue with the volume of the microphone and he was disrespectful to me from the jump you can disagree with me all you want but what the hell did. are you talking about okay but 
you're so in your head that you don't even see reality. Oh, 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 Loretta, you Loretta, I, I don't, I don't know why he'd be opposite. staring at you for twenty seconds. Like but why? Like why? Like, that, 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 <laughs> could there could it be the fact that he's a Cowboys fan and he's looking at the thing behind Absolutely you? Like there's, not. there's, there's there could be some other reason. Eyes. I'm I'm having a, okay uh, for twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Okay, I don't know. The entire time that the guy was under this thing fixing the volume, and he was like, you know, being like. It's too sometimes high we're just staring in a like direct. This. It's uh, sometimes we're just staring in a direction. You know. Yeah. Right. Oh, it was very maybe. Back maybe to your corners, so, everybody. Go back to your corners. We got another it video. It was very aggressive. Okay, go let's watch it. this. Here we go. <laughs> it was aggressive. Oh God, why? Then I sat up my chair. My husband cheated on me. I'm shut the fuck up, lady. Is he a good provider? Yes. Does he take good care of you? Yes. He ever disrespect you? Raise his hand to you. No. Outside of this cheating, is he what you need in a man? Yes, he is. Was this thing purely sexual? Was it a hit and miss? Or is he really feeling this woman? If she tells me this was a hit and miss, go have a conversation with him about his infidelity. Let him know you do not like it. I will never tell you not to leave a man because he cheated. You want to leave him because he cheated? Go ahead and do it. But I want to ask you a question. How many men you expect to find out there who are never going to go outside that marriage, at least occasionally, to experience another woman? I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying it's not realistic to leave a good man for an oops. Don't even look at me like that. <laughs> I, I was that staring at you for 20 seconds. No, I sent that I'm so angry. So Jesse, Jesse sent this to me. It's, it's true. This is beautiful. Jesse sent this to me. It's beautiful. Segue. Okay, ready? So how, what question you want to ask here? No, no, I was going to say. It, Jesse, what do you think? Second. You're the one who sent this to me. Want to send it to us. I didn't send it to you because I'm in agreement with it. So I, you, you don't agree with it's it? It's one of the most ridiculous things I've he ever heard in my entire life. Well, he said if you still want to leave, you can, but he's he's asking you he's to ask the he, question. No, no, he's saying to his daughter, mm -hmm. listen, if your man pays the bills and doesn't disrespect, what do you mean doesn't disrespect me? He cheated on me. Well, if the man's good to you, what do you mean good to me? He cheated on you. Well, if the man's loyal, he wasn't loyal. He cheated on you. He's contradicting himself with every bulletin that point that he makes. And then also backhanded telling her, well, if you want to leave him, you can. But it's kind of silly to do that because it was an oops moment. There goes. There's so much that goes into cheating: the sneaking, the lying. The, Actually, I think there's very shit. little that goes into cheating for men, and a whole lot that goes into cheating for women. I think cheating for women is, is a extremely the sophisticated and complicated are, thing. Are we changing no, no, look, the go, topic? Go, finish your topic. Fin, fin, finish <laughs> your point. The point is that I don't agree with what he is saying, and it's almost laughable that this is circulating through the internet, and that people are like, "Yeah." Absolutely, men can't help themselves. You need to forgive your husband if he steps out once in a while. What? Got it. Okay. Miranda, what do you think? Oh, uh, I was really hoping that this wouldn't come up because I'm very weird in my current relationship. It's um, open, but You're not You're in a situation open. ship? No, I'm I'm in a religious like re legitimate relationship. It's open on his end and not on your end? Uh, it's open on both ends. And okay. Honestly, I'm probably the one who lets him do more of what he wants to do okay. versus because he's more monogamous and I am more just like, I just don't care what he does as long as he's safe. Um, but he just chooses not to okay. do that. Um, and I know it's a very, but I, but I don't know if that's cheating though, because you know about it. Um, well, <sighs> What do you mean by cheating? Like he, but he would tell you, "I'm not going to have sexual intercourse with other women," and then does so behind your back. That would be cheating. You in an open relationship where the two of you make the decision to go ahead and do and uh, have sex with someone else. That uh, as long as you both know about it, I don't know that that's cheating. Yeah. Okay. I understand your point there. So, I feel like with the cheating. I feel like it's different when there is deceit, there is deception, okay. and there is a bunch of lying. Like say, the the reason why it's an issue is because when there could have been a conversation and there could have been communication, there was obviously a lapse in that. And then there was a moment in time where they felt like they didn't respect you enough to actually have that conversation with you to share with you, Hey, I'm having this urge. I want to do this, or I'm not feeling satisfied sexually by you. Hmm. Maybe you haven't slept with him in, you know, three weeks because you're, I don't know, sick uh, or you're you, going through something. If you were in a monogamous relationship and the guy you were with cheated on you, came to you, told you about it. It was like a one-time thing. Would you leave him? I would. I, I don't just 
cut things off just because. Okay. I, I like to listen to understand, and I always place myself in that individual's shoes okay. first before I make my decision. Got it. And remember, that individual probably has 17 times as much testosterone as you. That, and that's exactly why okay. I choose to be in a semi-open relationship Got because it. I understand how men are. And I feel like when you allow them to have that space and that um, ability, and I'm not wagging my finger, you better not cheat on me. Blah, blah, blah. You That's know very I mean? when enlightened, you're not giving, Miranda. When you're not giving that nasty, <laughs> negative, nagging energy, it makes them actually respect you more and want to not cheat on you. And they're more likely to communicate with you on their urges and things like that. Andrew, so I know it's an interesting perspective. <laughs> Go ahead and talk I actually Andrew? really want to hear his yeah. stance. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't hear him actually say the words marriage. Is he talking about marriage? Yeah. His, his daughter, his daughter, mar yeah, hypothetically. Mm -hmm. his if daughter, I had a daughter and If I had a daughter and she was married and this is what, the, what she came to me with. Yeah. So, no, there's no justification. Well, there can be justification, I guess, internalized justification. And from the prism of the Christian worldview, no, you're not allowed to step out on your wife. Now you can reconcile those things. So it's possible that... Uh, one of the partners makes a mistake in the marriage. You know, you can get help from the church, things like this, so that you can reconcile the relationship. But I don't think it should be expected inside of a marriage for, for either partner to step out. I don't think it's okay for a woman, for instance, to withhold sex for her husband and not have the expectation that he might do that. But that aside, no, I don't think at all that it's reasonable inside of a covenant marriage to to step out. I mean, that's uh, that defeats the purpose of the marriage. Nice. What do you think, Ava? Um, I actually agree with you, minus all the... Oh, my God, stuff. shut the fuck up! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Don't take it personally. Don't take it personally. Don't take it personally. nice to you. I, I'm actually <laughs> saying... I'm... I was joke. Take a joke, lady. I'm kidding. Relax. Okay, that's complete narcissism. Don't do something to her and have her respond and then tell her to stop. Can you just that's complete gaslighting? Like question? you need to chill. Go for Calm it. Calm down. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. No, that's my sister. Room. Don't talk Okay, what I was saying, I mean, what I was see. saying that's before you is. interrupted me was that I agree with you minus the religious stuff. Oh. Well, what's the justification absent religion to not cheat? Because some people believe in it and some people don't. No, no, no. I'm asking no. what the justification absent religion would be not for to cheat. cheat. For cheating. For not I'm sorry. What's the justification for not cheating? If for not cheating, is, so absent religion, the, absent the, the morality that religion gives you. What's the reason why? I don't know. That's just the way it's like always been done. I guess I'm not. I don't. I don't. I'm not really sure how to answer that question. Okay. My parents been married forever. Like I come from like a very loving, amazing family. Hmm. So I. I'm, so you think it's I mean, values that your, your parents imparted into you? That's why it feels wrong. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah. Where did those values absolutely. come from? Where, what do you do, mean? where do you think those values came from? My parents? Yeah, where do you think those values came from? Where did they get them? He's, I think he's Probably leading you to your dad. I'm, I'm, no, I'm leading you to religion. Right. Yeah. The values, the reason that your parents okay, probably okay, held those. A lot yeah. of people don't talk about religion and politics because it can be a very sensitive subject for people. So I just, you can believe in not cheating on someone and not be Catholic. No, I listen, I, 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 we I understand that. We're not, even, we're not so, even disagreeing with that. I'm just saying your parents likely believed that it's no good for one to step out on the other because they have these intrinsic values which came up cross-generationally from the core religious tenets that they were surrounded with. That That's what their environment was based around. Their parents' 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 environment was based around that. That's what he's saying. He's just saying it kind of crosses the bridge, but they all come back to a moral religious foundation. That's the point. I just got to okay, say, cool. Andrew, now I'm listening because now you're spitting facts and like you're being approachable. I'm listening now. Amazing. This is awesome. Yes. Yeah. There you go. They all want Andrew now. Go ahead, Allie. <laughs> I will say I mean, if you had just been nice, you, you just know? Like nice. Nice. But you were oh, such up. a bitch. I'm taking my nice comment right back. Yeah. Go ahead, Allie. All right. I think that personally, humans are flawed. So Grab the mic. Come a little closer to it. Just grab it. Pull, bring this it to one? you. Yeah. Are we good? Wait. You, you can good? just grab Hello? the base and bring it to you. <laughs> there you go. Are we close enough? Is there that you better? go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I think humans are all flawed, and a lot of it's situational, and it depends on you know you and your partner. But personally, I think that I would give my partner grace, and as long as things are communicated and you know we figure things out, and there's not an established pattern of behavior happening, I think that you know an oops is. Not acceptable, but it's you can work through it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Loretta. 
I agree with her. Okay. And I agree with Eva too. Yeah. You wouldn't leave your dude? Let me ask you something, ladies. Do you think it's uh, it's more repairable if a man cheats or if a woman cheats? Who thinks it's more repairable if a man cheats? Anybody? Yeah. Men, I mean, yeah. So so what what we found is that when men cheat, this Dr. Buss did a study, or uh, he re- referenced a study, about eight out of ten times when a woman cheats, she falls in love with her affair partner. For men, it's about two or three out of ten times. It's much less likely. So uh, I see what you're saying there. And then um, what do you think? Yeah, uh, uh, the basis of that video, because I missed a little bit of the beginning of yep. it. It was basically he uh, he was talking about his daughter and uh, uh, her being married. Mm-hmm. And if the man cheated, you know, he's advising the daughter to still stay with the man. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, of course, because if you don't, you increase your body count and you, lo- and you lower your value. So why not? That's what I would say. I also agree with his point as well. Um, if we're talking about in the context of marriage and stuff like that, but yeah, it's definitely negative. We're not promoting promiscuity For in sure. men or anything. But yeah, women shouldn't leave um, that relationship because, yeah. But how would it not be a promotion? It is. It's if if um, you're saying there's no consequence to this. Yeah. There's no consequence. So if you step out she and you your advice is, hey, stay in the marriage. After all, he's, he's a pretty good guy, right? Or this type of thing. There's no negative consequence for him to do that. Isn't it kind of the promotion of promiscuity at that no, point? No, I didn't say that is no negative consequence for it. So uh, you're saying pretty much that the negative consequence for that would be her leaving, right? I'm or saying something. that, well, but guess what? I'm saying that a more negative consequence would be for her because she increases her body count, which lowers her value. And not only that, then she has to go back into the dating market and try to find a more valuable man. But in generally speaking, and most so men are he. only as faithful as their options, right? So it's like, yeah, like I have a daughter, right? Yeah. So I would tell my daughter the same exact thing, but I would, and I would say, well, hey, well, one, you want to pick a righteous man. So you want to pick a man. It's all about the man that you choose, right? So you want to pick a man with characteristic traits that, okay, that follow Christ, right? And he has, he, his uh, morality supersedes his nature, right? Because men will indulge in the nature, that's why most that's why the generality is that most men is only as faithful as their options because men tend to seek their nature just like women tend to go with their nature which is hypergamous so yeah in the context of what you're talking about it's not going to benefit the woman right so that's not promoting what the man is doing it's just saying that if i'm giving my daughter advice because it was not talking about the man advice the daughter advice so my daughter advice I wouldn't advise her to leave her husband. If that's true, then what would the consequence to him be for oh, this so you, immoral So you're looking action. for a consequence yeah. for his actions. Well, it's tough. I mean, if, if we're taking... Uh, I, mean, I, I have a wait, 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 but, I have did, an answer for that, actually. Go ahead. I mean, the consequence under that is, is very simple. So you got two types of men. Not even two types. Let's just say a man that follows Christ and God, because that's what we're talking about, right? Mm-hmm. So the there there is a consequence. We know about the consequence. The consequence is in the Bible, right? So we know about these things. That man, he needs to repent from his sins, or we know where he goes. So he does have a consequence. What if he's not religious? He well, we, me and you both know where he goes. Yeah, right. <laughs> but, but what's but what's the it doesn't con- matter. But what what's he the material knows. consequence for the immoral action? If if you're saying. I'm Look, talking about. Are you, are you, are you, are you pro, uh, is this a proponent for divorce? I don't understand. Like, what? What? It's not a. It's not a proponent. He's not promoting it. He's saying. No, no, no. no, no, no my my question promoting. is, I, yeah. I, I want to know what I want to know what Andrew's hypothetical punishment for the man would be. I'm just curious, genuinely curious. Well, so in this case, I think that you could have church chastisement, but okay. more importantly, okay. what okay. that means is community <laughs> chastisement. Got it. Got it. Got it. You are not allowed to fuck around on your wife, right? Or a brother kicks your ass. Dad kicks your ass, right? Okay. You get, you get, you know, the community used to kind of keep these people in line. They used to kind of keep the enforcement protocol. This is a big problem with male and female dynamics. Now that I see is that there's no community backing this up. That's why I think covenant marriage is far superior to state marriage because it gives you access to that community. It gives you access to a whole new set of ecclesiastical law, which is way better to deal with the interpersonal dynamics between men and women inside marriage. They've been doing it for 2,000 years, right? Michael and I so were just talking about this earlier about how in the military uniform code of military yeah. justice, yeah, the, you actually you, get kicked out of the military or you can go to you know, jail. There's a consequence. You can go yeah, to jail. Yeah. Though, though, yeah, though fraternization you happens there far more than yeah. is, and it's all about who you know, right? right. right. But, right. The point, <laughs> but the yeah. point is, it's like, yeah, I think, I think there has to be a consequence to him too. Otherwise, 
I don't understand how it's not a promotion to say, look, you know, yeah, he was at an office party. He screwed some chick who was there. Well, Nothing the happens is, men to him, right? To, well, men need to enforce, you know, those consequences. Yes. So then that's a different story. So, yes. Yeah. And your uh, prescription of what you said, you know, having a church back up the consequences and stuff like that, or having your, your brother or your uncle or your father, mm -hmm. you know, um, give consequences. Yeah, I'm not saying in, in the marriage like necessarily. Yeah. Okay, okay. But make it to where he really would prefer to not do that again. Yeah. You I mean, I the, mean? the big elephant in the room, too, though, is like the damage it does to the relationship between the husband and the wife, right? You're, you're chipping away at trust. You're chipping away at loyalty. You're chipping away at the leadership yeah. that you so desire. Yeah, but I want to see it on both ends, too. 100%. So I want to see women also. <laughs> so what happens right now, because it's all state endorsed marriage, is that men are getting fucked bad by, by when women leave. I mean, they, they almost universally win. I think under any type of ecclesiastical authority, it's going to be far better for men and women. Because the church isn't going to be like, okay, yeah, take half his shit, and here's alimony, and here's everything else. They're not going to do it. Yeah. So I'd like to see it on both ends. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, Alice, what do you think? Uh, I think, so I am not in a monogamous relationship. Uh, so I think, I don't know how much I can say about the topic. Anyway, I think there are like two aspects to cheating. Yeah. First one is the actual act of a man having mm -hmm. sex with another woman. Mm -hmm. And the second part is the fact that he lied to you. So if you are in a monogamous relationship, he basically, you guys had, um, you guys kind of had this... Um, an agreement. An agreement that we're not like fucking with anybody else basically so he lied to you and he 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 wasn't like truthful to the agreement he wasn't truthful to you so um yeah i'm sorry i, I was just go ahead oh, I kinda, sorry i kind of lost my thought now. i'm sorry <laughs> and, I, well, it, just, it occurred to me i wanted to ask this follow-up i was up sure to you. that you're gonna yeah. say so if you were so. if you were actually in that situation yeah and this happened with your daughter right would you go in and lay that guy out well, uh, if you're talking yes. personally, right? Yeah. So me and the way I'm handling my daughter, because I do have a daughter, well, I'm going to be very old fashioned. I'm going to choose the man that she marries, right? Mm -hmm. So that means I'm going to have a very high stake in that man. So I'm probably going to know that man better than she knows that man, right? That's going to be my job. So within that, me and that man is going to have a relationship, right? And a, a tight relationship. So he's getting knocked out. Um, well, well, well. <laughs> You, you, you want, it's not about a just knockout. Just say he's getting knocked out. It's, just just, it's not about a knockout, but he, he will feel some force, some Go force right. of action. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, so, totally uh, yeah, yeah. So that's why I agreed with what you said. I didn't disagree with that. But when we're speaking about the context of the conversation was talking about the woman. You flipped it over to the man. So we were just talking at two different angles. Because I was saying that the, the woman, she would, well, why would, like, if she leaves, it's like, okay, there's no benefit really for her leaving she got to start all over it, now say if that dude was we already know i mean rollo speaks about it a lot like women tend to get alpha widow you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so let's say if he just happens to be top g you know what i'm saying and then she leaves that dude ah dang now she's really not going to be able to find another guy she'll hardly she'll never be satisfied so then she's going to be yearning for what she used to have and then she just left that relationship so she's never going to be happy and also her value decreased not only just to the world but to her yeah i think that presupposes a lot of things though that i'm not necessarily willing to grant so sure. i'm not sure that it presupposes that she has the top dog i'm not sure that you know i would engage with a presupposition that uh, these aren't just kind of normal people, right? Maybe this guy's just a mechanic. You can say that as normal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good. It was just a good-looking chick. It was a one-time fling. I'm not saying you have to destroy the entire marriage. In fact, you shouldn't. You should do everything you can to work on it, right? You should do everything you can to reconcile it yeah. before you make that kind of extra step, right? Because yeah. you're right. It'll destroy the whole family. Yeah. It'll destroy kids. It'll destroy the woman. It'll destroy everything. I'm just saying that absent consequence, you definitely create an incentive for her and him. So I'm like, look, for her, it's really hard to tailor consequences to women in modernity. But the one thing we do know is it's not hard to tailor consequences to men. No, right? it's not. <laughs> well, I would say the man does, generally speaking. I would say uh, man, the man would feel some type of consequences is because women are neurotic creatures, so they feel more negative emotion than men. That means that she's going to be giving him problems in that relationship if he cheats emotional she's going to be draining all her emotions on that man we all know that that happens so the fact that you're saying that he doesn't experience any consequences well i would say that usually when a man lies to a woman and he cheats on that uh he cheats on that woman uh and that woman happens
happens to stay, she's bringing that up forever. So he will feel consequences to the to the end of time. I mean, maybe, but you know, if you're if you're in a religious situation, you reconciling that's going to take years. But yeah. marriage is work, right? Like it takes years anyway. It's a it's a lifelong process. Lieutenant, and, what did you think? <laughs> you know, I I have a really hard time with this because mm -hmm. I was just about to get married about five years ago and I was six weeks away from getting married and this guy that I thought was like my best friend and like that I knew everything about him and all of this stuff I found out he was cheating on me the entire time we were together which was three years and it was super super devastating for me it like literally broke me and um, so in my opinion um, you know I, I at this point in my life after what I've experienced I would say it's a, it's a deal breaker I have, I have a question uh, you two are in uh, uh uh, polyamorous relationships you're in a polygynous relationship do you guys yeah. huh not poly just open what close enough wait just what? open <laughs> Uh, I don't, okay. Yeah, I do. yeah I'm not poly. Well, poly is when you have like poly multiple partners, have actual, when you have partners. like girlfriends. Okay. Uh, okay. Not yeah. Like monogamy dating. between multiple people. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what well, my, my <laughs> question is situation. your alternative, okay. <laughs> your alternative yes. decision. Did it come from you having a realization, your words about men's nature? Is that why you, you've come to the, the, the different type of relationship well uh first of all i'm bisexual okay so i love men and i love women yeah so i needed to find the kind of relationship that would work got it for me and then my husband now when i met him he was like hey i think in my na nature right now i i wouldn't want to be in a monogamous relationship okay. and i'm gonna tell you that straight away right now and i was like that's perfect like that's basically that's a perfect thing for me because like Together we can do something, or like I can do something, or he can do something. I think it's it like, only has the possibility of growth and getting better if you guys are on the same page. Oh yeah, absolutely. If not, then it's yep. just absolutely not yep. gonna work. Miranda, did you? Was there a, a, a come to Jesus moment that made you feel differently about this? I think um, I experienced. I was married once when I was in my um, early twenties, and he ended up being an abusive narcissist and having that feeling of being owned and controlled for such a long period of time kind of pushed me to a point where like I don't want anybody else to feel like they're owned or controlled in any way and I I just I value freedom and I want my partner to feel like he is free to have whatever experience he wants if he wants to go and I don't know do cocaine off of a stripper's butt I don't know. And that's the experience he wants. I want him to be able to communicate that with me and so that we can talk about it and, you know. Randa, you mentioned before that you had an acrimonious relationship with your parents or your dad. Did that maybe lead to you being in a relationship? Do you think that made you want a relationship that was a bit more chaotic? <laughs> could could you have been attracted and maybe not seen the signs? Oh, you mean with my ex-husband? Yes. Oh, 100%. Okay. Like that trauma was not healed yet at that point in time. Okay. I was very naive and I totally attracted that individual into my life. Okay. I was very like, just, you know, just very naive. It's and very, very enlightened of you. Empaths will attract narcissists okay. into their lives. What about you, Jesse? You just, just you like the girls and that's it? You like to eat at the Y and that's all? <laughs> oh so my God. <laughs> what, what specifically are you asking me? God, I wish you would have so, had her so, on that interview. So, yesterday. so <laughs> you like, like, so you have a monogamous relationship. Some some women, I've, I've especially here in Las Vegas, are comfortable with an extra mono, monogamous extra relationship. And I'm curious if the reason why is because of a bad experience with a partner previously. No, and I, I think what we were talking about before was the cheating aspect. It's not cheating if you're both in agreement of something. Yes. Yeah. So like, if I decide because I also am bisexual. And my husband obviously likes women as well. So he and I would enjoy something together. But the moment he steps out of bounds and does something behind my back, he's broken the trust and the agreement that we had. Yeah. It's not based off of, oh, all men cheat, so I'm just going to make my I got your back, dog. I won't snitch on you. I won't snitch. Don't <laughs> yeah, worry about it. We're good. We're good, homie. I won't snitch. I will both snitch. Of your head yeah, that's my husband, by the way. Yeah. I will clink both your heads together. Um, but no, I don't think that this is based off of me feeling like, oh, all men cheat, so I'm just going to bring girls home so he won't cheat. Okay. Because at the end of the day, 
scumbags are scumbags, they're still going to go outside of the threesomes and the marriage and still find girls on their own. Okay. So it, it's not based off of that. It's just personal you know, preference. I finally, I finally found this. And oh, every time we have this conversation, I always want to bring up this data set and I never get to okay. pop this up. This is Rolf Deegan. He says, the idea of open relationships is likely to be most attractive to those who see themselves as having higher quality relationship options. So whoever is the hottest... So, so the, yeah, the study got, is yeah. whoever has the highest well, se sexual in, market in, value in, is usually in, the one wanting a new In data sets from the United States, Europe, and Korea, uh, perceptions of higher quality alternatives were consistently associated with more interest in consensual non-monogamy, ergo open relationships. Further consistent with the previous work on commitment-motivated relationships maintenance processes, we found support for the indirect effect whereby lower commitment was associated with higher perceived attractiveness of alternatives, which in turn was associated with the interest. Sorry, I'll, 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 I'll give you the quick version. The data suggests that consensual non-monogamy is likely to be most attractive to those who see themselves as having higher relationship. The options. hotter partner wants the, the hotter partner wants, wants the, the open relationship. That's what the study found in general. He's hot, huh? He's hot. Yeah, but I'm the one that. I'm not saying home. no. I'm not saying it's. I'm not saying it's you specifically. I'm just saying in general. The one that thinks like they have the most. The one that thinks they have the most gain from yeah. it. Yeah, it tends to be the partner that is that one that, that wants it. I, I think that makes sense, especially that the second person that maybe not, not necessarily wants it. And she feels that you're in a, she's you're in a, a you're in a, a you're in an open relationship or you were uh, I, I don't like, I don't like to say it and you way, are but, yeah, was it you that initiated it or was it the guy that so my initiated husband it? initiated he did it uh -huh. yeah man I'm just gonna and I don't think he's shit. hotter than me I mean he's a cool guy but I don't think he's hotter than me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so with me um it's not necessarily like I want to go out and seek other men I have no interest in seeking out other men whatsoever my thing is allowing him to do what he wants to do because so that's the purpose of what that's the function of it then is to allow him because her function is different than your function when it comes to yeah well like i also do like the three-way thing as mm -hmm. well you know <laughs> <laughs> every <laughs> fucking episode <laughs> we, we, we create one of these wait, wait till Amber, you've been every episode the david I that's it all i, I love all you, i do is I set up threesomes Amber. i swear to god that's what my show is original wifey i love you welcome to las vegas yeah, come, okay. which one are we doing next <laughs> okay let's do uh let's do okay, okay. this one right here <laughs> oh well oh dave's back okay. yeah uh let's see where all right ladies we need you we need you to react to this video it's very important you guys check this one out okay oh god Oh, it's Dave. Uh, okay, got it, got it, got it. Right here. Hang on a second. That's the problem now. Men is not crying. They running through their emotions and just running through not facing stuff. Well, that's incorrect. That's why you need guidance. Because someone that cries, that means that they don't have the ability to have control of their emotions. So you saying that that's the problem with men nowadays. No, the problem with men nowadays is that they're more emotional. An emotional man ends up in prison. An emotional man would steal something. An emotional man would punch you in the face for saying something maybe that he doesn't like because it triggered his emotion. An emotional Emotional man will be hitting a woman. Hiding it inside, and shoving not it down, crying and letting it out. out. When you let it, this is very simple. When you let it out, they go to prison. When you let it out, they shoot up a school. When you let it out, they steal. When you that's when they let it out. That's You're looking at it all wrong. The emotional, intelligent person gets things done, acts a certain way, despite how they feel. Dang, homie was spitting. Mm. Oh, God, who was nice. that guy? Who was that guy? God. Damn. All right, does anybody have a comment on that I specifically? Have a comment. Go ahead, Miranda. So, okay, so I think the woman's perspective is that they think that men should um, release their emotions in a way, not in front of their woman, but in a in a in a way that allows them to get it out of their system. When they suppress their emotions, say their father died or their mom died, mm -hmm. and they literally refuse to cry and they don't let it out, tears are actually like trauma and emotion coming out of the body you need to release that and when you constantly suppress that emotion and say something just randomly triggers you one day that's when they snap that's when they uh, hit the individual and go to jail it's because they have all of these emotions that have been suppressed over time and it builds and builds and builds so finally it hits a point where they explode do you think you can that's clean water before you drink it what do you what, what kind do of you think you can clean water before you drink it you just said that well uh, it's good for people to just, they, they need to go ahead and let it out because that helps them deal with it, right? Do you think you can clean water before you drink it? So that means that do you think you can handle what's going inside before you let it out? 
God dang, sure you didn't get, get that, how that no. question. What it, the, no. Yeah. Okay, never I, mind. Does anybody <laughs> else get that quiet? <laughs> I understand. You, know, you, know, you, you, you could clean what's inside, meaning that before you drink water, it we got to clean water. You, it has to go through cycles before that water gets clean, before we drink it, right? So I'm saying that that's with your emotions. Your emotions, before you let your emotions out, you need to do some internally thinking, right? Well, one, you, you can't be all in your feelings. Yeah, you need to process your emotions. That's you what I'm saying. Regulate your emotions. Yeah. You need to regulate your emotions. And this yeah. is why you need guidance from a man, because women lack the ability to regulate their emotions. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to point this out. Ready? Um, what is that? Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get an endocrinology here, right? Mm -hmm. We have way more testosterone than women do. Mm -hmm. Some of the attributes of testosterone. Okay. You'll notice that guys, when they get on TRT, they'll get off of Adderall because they can focus more, because that's what our ancestors did, our hunter-gatherer asset ancestors. We would have more testosterone, we'd be able to focus more, we have more muscle mass, we have more protein synthesis, which builds bigger muscles and more dense bone structure, okay? And so because of that, because we have the, um, oh gosh, what was the thing he was just saying? I just lost my train of thought. Oh no, emotions. You gotta clean the water emotions. before you oh, yeah, drink yeah. it. Uh, um, okay, hold on, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I remember what I was saying. For us, we'll feel, this is really crazy. I, I tried to explain this uh, to a girl I was dating, uh, I feel the same emotions you do. The mm -hmm. difference is because of the way testosterone has made me, I get a, a positive emotion from accomplishing shit. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Testosterone makes effort feel good. I love it after that, that sore feeling after I lift weights. You're probably familiar with that feeling, really? right? Yeah. Okay, so that feeling of like accomplishing a goal, it, what, what happens is I may have all these emotions tied up in me, but like I have to go take care of my sales team and run my company and like take care of my family, even if I don't feel like it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, once I accomplish the goal, even though I don't feel like it, I don't break down and shoot a school. I feel great because I accomplished something in, instead of, I have the emotional regulation to not act out on it. Does that make sense? And I will tell you, testosterone is a major reason why men are like that. And you'll see like, a lot of times when guys get in low T and they start producing a lot of uh, estrogen, they start getting the man boobs or whatever, that's when you start seeing, keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. That's where that came. I'm telling you, by, by the way, I guarantee you what happened with Will Smith is he's on TRT and he didn't take an estrogen blocker. And that's why he started that. I <laughs> guarantee you that's what happened. It Listen did sound a, like that. Right, right, keep that. my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. That, that's the, the cracking. That's estrogen. I'm telling you, that's what happened there. So in this situation, what happens is for us, we still have feelings like you do, right? The thing is, we we express our feelings, or and we express love through my man, Wes Watson. He says this, love is a verb, right? There's love waving a flag saying, I love the United States of America. And then there's those men who stormed Normandy and were willing to die. That's a different type of love through action. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. where, does that, where does that love expression through action come from? It comes from masculine energy. That is what being ma masculine is doing a thing. Right, so we're expressing ourselves just like you are, except we don't need to cry and be vulnerable in order to do it. Does that make That's sense? Zero Wait, point. I, did I say that men needed to cry, and I no, did not no, say no, that but, men should cry in front of their woman either? Right, but in I said this, that they need to deal with their emotions. I think, I think in this clip, that's what the woman's. That, that's what her point was. Oh, David was okay, there. Maybe. Well, that's yeah. not that's yeah. not what I was hearing. I thought she was just saying that men need to. By the way, by the way, if you're a man and you have a child with a woman and she's been a good wife to you and you want to cry the first time you have a child, that's mm -hmm. totally. A, but she earned that. She earned that. When you first meet a woman, get fellas, if you are crying or bitching about the fact that you got cheated on, you are a moron. That is not what you so should do. So let me see yeah. if I can add a little bit to this, too, because every time the topic of emotions comes up, uh, everybody everybody seems to think that men and women like are exactly the same when it comes to processing emotion. We are not. Mm -hmm. You do yeah. not have the same hardware. You literally have different wiring in your brain than men have in their brains. So when... When you're saying like, you know, uh, when it comes to emotional regulation, okay? Well, when men become emotional, they tend to default to anger. When women become emotional, they tend to devolve to like, you know, uh, crying or hysterics or whatever. Usually it's a panics, uh, you know, response because you feel unsafe, because you feel insecure. Something's gonna get me, I'm gonna cry. This is the only thing I can do. Men, since we are action oriented, we get pissed off because we don't know because it's a fight or flight uh, you know, response to that. Yeah. So men and women literally do not have the same hardware in their brains. But from your response, which is really, I hate to say typical, but it's the typical response from women and the women that were on your show as yeah. well. The presumption is that men 
emote exactly the same way as, yep. as women do because they believe in this blank slate bullshit, okay? Which is, we're all the same thing, we all have the same hardware, we're all the same, no, we, we, down to the microscopic, down to the cellular level, men and women are different. To the point where our brains, if you take, they have done this before, take fMRI scans of men's brains and women's brains, and you look at the synopses and how they're connected and you lay them on top of each other, they're the perfect fucking complement. There's also the, a logical yes. way to look at this, which is duty. Men actually have a duty to suppress their emotions. The well, reason we have a duty to suppress our emotions and in society we have a duty to suppress our emotions is because when that guy's pissed off, he can rip the doors off it, the fucking right. hinges, mm -hmm. throw them across the room, and if it hits you, it would kill you, literally. Yeah. It's well, not because, a joke. Because the when default men, is to anger and the default get, is to fight. When men <laughs> get super angry, they become the Incredible Hulk. It's, it, to me, it's so funny because the amount of damage that even the average man can do women generally in modernity are spared from seeing that right you though you were in the military you know men can be can be extremely savage well the one and thing so that i think I, oh, hang on, there, I'm almost ahead, done. but i think that we're raised in an environment and always have been traditionally we've always been raised where you have a greater duty to suppress and control your emotions mm -hmm. not only so that you don't damage the environment that's around you and damage women and damage everything else, but even so that you don't damage men. It's better to cooperate with men. That's a higher duty than to damage the things that are around you with anger and emotion. Yeah, you know, one of the things that I've been dying to ask both of you to get your perspectives is, because I was in the military, I saw a lot of men go inward almost to a detriment where they unalived themselves. I, mm -hmm. I literally was thinking of one particular person that was in the in the bunk, just a couple of bunks over from me that unalived himself. And this is the highest rate of unaliving is with men. Sure. And so, um, you know, talk to me about that. Give me, give me a little bit of information. You know, you're talking about men process emotions differently, et cetera. There's obviously they have, a reason they they're having this issue. They have a great burden of duty on their shoulders. Mm -hmm. And especially if they're in the military, that duty increases drastically as responsibility gets put on their shoulders. Mm -hmm. It's no surprise to me that if you put heaps and heaps of duty on a person without any form of praise or any mm -hmm. type of kind of societal push to help that person as well, that that's why you see those rates. Anytime I look, even if you break it down ethnically, you break it down racially, it always seems to be people who are in the fields uh, where they have kind of the greater duties which are for family, for king, for country, whatever it is that you see, you know, usually in their 30s or 40s, it's just too much. They're not getting any any form of support, mm. including from other men, and that's usually why they end up self-terminating. Uh, I believe the rates of attempted taking your own life are about the same for men and women. Oh, really? But men tend to use firearms and f jump <laughs> off of things and then hang themselves, whereas women tend to use pills. Not in the military. So, yeah. What do you mean? In the military, that's that stat doesn't hold true. So men and women in the oh yeah, military, men, men you commit yeah, you but far and away. Well, more. I, I so. think why that might be the case in the military is because when I if I'm a woman in the military, my options with men are plentiful. And if I'm a man in the military and I'm at Fort Bragg or if I'm at Fort Hood or if I'm Clovis, <laughs> New Mexico, my options with women are minimal. I may also be deployed and my wife may be doing whatever. Whereas if I'm a woman, I'm getting massive amounts of attention. I think that may have something to do with it. Well, I also think that they have to do far more egregious jobs. Oh, you, for sure. Okay, I agree and with that. And I think that that's another you know, heavy contributing factor. But again, always when I look at these charts, I see it's the more duty with the least amount of, I don't know what you would call it, like um, societal kickback or thanks or something like this, support for the, hey, thanks for doing your duty. Mm. Thanks for doing your job. Seems to be always men who are in that position who are at the higher rates of self-termination. Yeah. But they definitely have a duty to suppress their emotion for the safety of everybody in their environment. The women who say this, they go, I wish you were more in touch with your emotions. No, the fuck you don't. <laughs> Last thing you want me to do is touch my emotions. Last thing you want to do is see what goes on in my head. Last thing you want to do is see what I actually think about things. It's the worst thing that was, possible. That was actually the point I was getting at. Yeah, there. best that thing is for, for me the, to suppress for the all last, of it and for you too. Yeah, for yeah. the well, for the last, I mean, ever since the sexual revolution, we have because we believe in this blank slate bullshit. It's 
uh, men need to express themselves more. Men, need, they're bottling it up. They're doing this. They're, uh, and they need to be more emotionally expressive. They need to get in touch with their feminine side because mm-hmm. the feminine uh, the idea is that there's some, some sort of anima animus balance between the two. And functionally, it's incorrect. This is a dead meme that we still there is no cling equilibrium. to today. There is no yeah. equilibrium. The, there is no equality. So, but there. but here's a, here, my point was always this. is like <laughs> I always use this as an example. It's like, you know, if just because you didn't cry at the end of Titanic doesn't mean you're like emotionally stunted as a, as a male human being because all the women are just crying over the you know what what just what transpired um but the 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 long and the short of this is that did you cry because, at the end of no, Titanic? Of course, no, all the, <laughs> saving Private Ryan, I did. Uh, no, no, but but the, uh, the 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 at the end of the day, it's the idea is that men. It are exact functionally equivalent to women, and yeah. so therefore, if it made her cry and it's not making you cry, there must be something wrong very with you. wrong yeah. with yeah. you. You don't feel the same way. Yes, Can we, uh, and we just simply don't have the hardware to do that. We do feel emotion. We just don't see. We don't lead with it. We don't. We don't. It's the process is this. It's emotion, instinct, instinct, emotion, and reason. Instinct is the easiest one. It, it's fight or flight. It's it's uh, what's the most. If I threw something at you right now, you'd instinctively you know flinch mm-hmm. away from it. That's the fastest the fastest way of responding to our environment. Emotion is the next one. And remember, emotions are not magic. It's not like pixie dust that falls down. You, I can change your emotion by shooting you up with a bunch of testosterone, or we can all go and drink that bottle of gin right there, and we can all suddenly feel better about ourselves because we have a different emotion. We're put into a different mm-hmm. emotional state. And then there's reason, and reason is the slowest because we have to learn how to respond to things, how to act to things, how to what, what's the best practice in this particular situation from a previous experience that maybe we learned the hard way and maybe we didn't. So those are those are the you know instinct, emotion, and reason. Women tend to do instinct, emotion, and reason. Men tend to do instinct, reason, and then emotion. How did it make us feel after we figure out and solve that problem? How did it make us feel after Titanic is over? We're not crying there, but why did she cry? You might wonder about that. But men tend to process emotion after the reasons part, whereas women tend to go from a instinct, emotion, and then to reason. Let us uh, let me get to the super chats real okay, quick. Yeah, I got uh, some too. Straight up. Great hey. video, by the way. Huh? Thank you, man. Appreciate yes. It. Yeah. Uh, Siege D, uh, great work bringing Andrew Wilson and David Cooley See? instead of Walmart, Mia Khalifa, and Jacob Jafar. Shout out to <laughs> yes. uh, Farah and, you know, I and had Jasmine. Those, I had those we want, glasses we want you, on tap and We want ready you guys to, go. to come on yes, for sure. Please. I promise uh, I won't piss you off. Asking anymore. for Andrew. Well, maybe not. <laughs> asking for Andrew. Can we smoke inside of Sticky Paws? Question mark. No. Also, <laughs> also, shout out to Rachel I, I'm Wilson. I'm using Zen. There we go. <laughs> As, uh, also, shout out to Rachel Wilson and The Crucible. Uh, marriage causes divorce. There's no such thing as, as a quality man. If you give a woman Tom Brady, Johnny Depp, or Brad Pitt, they will still find something to moan and complain about. Uh, marriage causes divorce. Neurotic is not a negative. It helps babies get more attention, and they care because women draw attention to their baby. It is an evolved survival strategy. Roberto Flores says, a man can make 50 k a year but have a net worth of 500000 Case in point, his 401 k can be upwards of three to 400 k not including his property. It isn't always about what he earns at his current job. Okay, so his wealth, got it. And then also marriage causes divorce. Women benefit psychologically from leaving their husbands. They get to escape boredom or low quality mate and they may find something better. That's weird, okay, I don't to know To respond that. to that super chat, he's right. The incentives right now in society do incentivize women to leave and step out of their marriage much more than they incentivize men to do so. Yeah. And yeah. so that's why it's like, yeah, I mean, he's right about that, right? He's like, wait a second. There's, you know, this is gonna this is gonna lower your value. You're gonna have a lot of problems with this ending the relationship. But on the other hand, it's like we can't give we can't give a special pass the other way either. But we're gonna have to do something to reconcile this, uh, especially in the divorce courts, so that that doesn't happen anymore. Uh, Roberto Flores, when men set boundaries, women tend to see that as controlling. Women, be- women believe they can set limitless boundaries. Setting boundaries is healthy and necessary. That's true. I found that the case, like if, if somebody tests my boundaries for a while and all of a sudden I become very dispassionate and I said, these are my boundaries and I'm not going to do anything, they would call me a narcissist. I'm like, no, I gave you plenty of leeway. Mm-hmm. But what happens is you tested my boundaries. And I look at life as an if-then statement. If you continue to validate what I need in a relationship, then we'll be together forever. If you can't, then we won't. And I say the same thing with people that I, my clients and my business partners. It's the same exact thing. It's an if-then statement. 
the boundaries then like what he's talking about with consequences the boundaries then allow for me to have a healthier relationship with these people again the the neighborhoods in the united states that have the lowest amount of crime you know what they are it's dual gun ownership in north texas there's <laughs> dual when people know i'm not breaking into this motherfucker's house there's a boundary then all of a sudden there's no crime and everyone's very happy gotcha, bitch. that's that's the way it works so that's what, what i'm saying when you can create boundaries that actually it's beneficial for everyone i actually think prenups believe it or not are beneficial for marriages because it disincentivizes both sides from leaving the marriage for selfish reasons got it okay yeah, cool. everything uh, requirements of force is based around incentivization or de-incentivizing yeah everything i was about to, to say state, everything yeah. uh, i got these uh men hats your game ladies less attacking please so emotional uh andrew god bless you for dealing with these emotions uh, conventionally masculine men don't need permission to lead. They just lead. If she has to let him lead, who is really the leader? I always talk about that allowing. Um, yeah. uh, the saint and sinner's name must be spelled and pronounced properly next time. Marquette or Marquette? It's Marquette. Marquette, right? I mean, is that not correct? Am I right? It's Marquette. Yeah, it's Marquette. Marquette. Yeah, yeah. It's Marquette. I think I people I get saying, confused. I was saying it right. Because there was the, the punter for the Raiders was Marquette King, and I think <laughs> that's why people get it wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why is Jesse even coming back? Every time she's here, she's mad and rude with men. <laughs> that's that's why she's back. What are you talking I, I, that's about? That's exactly what, why what we are you talking back. about? Can you imagine <laughs> if we had like like eight super misogynistic women on here and it got to the point where like David and Andrew were like, ladies, calm down. All right, let's not we're not bringing she back was super slavery. Nice to the yeah. Yeah. Law. We're not women should be able to vote. Exactly Chill out, ladies. <laughs> I've always wanted welcome. to do that. I've always wanted to have like guests on and have women just like like plants, just hyper misogynistic, <laughs> like crazy shit where you're like, Hey, I don't really think you should do that you shouldn't beat your wife anyway we, go need, ahead. we need more yeah. women to just sit down and don't say anything exactly. <laughs> right, okay uh uh andrew sir thank you for being here i truly love your content uh i waited for this for so long uh men hands your game again amy please stop being neurotic i love that you paid two dollars for that uh, <laughs> <laughs> you may respond to all of these uh i actually uh rp monsta says i actually these girls two uh, oh three names of country Dude, you're not intelligent enough to even write. Like, he also finish your PSL. One night, he didn't even pay a whole two dollars. He just paid a dollar ninety. To say, to say, I'm gonna, read, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it literally here. I actually, these girls, to name three countries. LOL. Pass. Goodbye. No. Afghanistan, you Kyrgyzstan, you have, to, you, have to, you have to, you have to actually be able to spell it in English before you get that that question. There. Uh, again, uh, it's not what you say; it's how you say it. Uh, why must we always cater our speech to you? Blondie, thing one and thing two. <laughs> it, uh, it's easy for you guys to get triggered. Uh, out of pocket variety show. Lieutenant Danielle over there uh, needs to chill on the good brothers, Cooley and Andrew. They come from a place of tough love and honesty. No hatred at all. I believe that. Uh, that's not, uh, dumb and dumber twin. Stop sharing one brain. Uh, if men <laughs> must face community family chat, you may respond to any of these. Uh, family chastisement for infidelity. Should women face the same chastisement for being promiscuous before marriage? Yeah. yeah. Wait, who said that? I said yeah. You yeah, think women should? I mean, society should always be moving. If men must face community mm -hmm. family chastisement for infidelity, should women face the same chastisement yes. for being promiscuous before marriage? Yes, absolutely. In fact, uh, society used to have that built in. That was a built-in function. <laughs> Again, a... this is a religious foundation that built that function in. But yes, I, I absolutely think that for promiscuity, that is something that at a societal level should definitely be pushed back against mm -hmm. from both uh, sexes. It yeah, is. Yeah. It is. Okay, Zarf, uh, thank you for whatever this was. Uh, it is physically impossible for a man to emote like a woman. The problem is that men are treated like they are abnormal for being uh, for not being able to emote exactly like a woman. Uh, except by other men the yeah. other men seem to intuitively understand well it. i'll tell you the other thing is but yeah i would agree with you except for there's a lot of feminized guys these days who are probably bro yeah but i think that they're look at my comments hindering. yeah i know i think if you get those guys aside <laughs> if i talk to them aside i'm like come on they, yeah i know but there was women around you, you just want to you, you want to grab them and be like impressive. she's not gonna fuck you because you wrote that <laughs> simpy ass shit in my fucking comments she'll <laughs> never fuck you <laughs> uh chris says ladies when was the last time you were wrong took accountability for it and apologized please share the story never <laughs> ali go ahead when's the last time you apologized babe when was the last time i apologized to you i was gonna say look at your husband <laughs> <laughs> make eye contact you, know? you, be you better have the right answer yeah. <laughs> you better say that shit right we both make a mistake. We both yeah i'm pretty i'm pretty quick with apologizing right away mm -hmm. if he s breaks something down for me and i'm like oh this is me i got i got humbled but I don't feel like I'm too proud to apologize. 
Do you have the insight to know when you're wrong and then apologize? I or do you have, have to come, have it explained to you? No, no, no. I have come to him a few times like, you know what? I feel like I might have handled this the wrong way. I apologize for saying this to you in that form. But this is why I did it. And not that it excuses it. But this is why I did it. And I feel like I've done that more often than not. There have been a few times where I might not realize I'm being more emotional than anything. Mm. And he'll have to point it out to me. Maybe I'm on my period. I don't know. But like, I have enough self-awareness to point out when I know I'm probably taking it the wrong way. Or maybe doing the most while being angry. Hmm? Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice therapy session we're having. <laughs> there you go. Nice, <laughs> Ali. What do you have to say to all your haters? To all my haters. Yeah. What did all these people talk? That you don't. They don't. I just wanted you to say something. I'm sorry. You've just been no, sitting over there. But in reply to that, like I think at times personally, like I'm a complete psychopath. Mm. But in my relationship, I do strive to be open and communicate. So if I do fuck up, like, hey. Hey, ladies, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you this. There's so many dudes who want to fuck you. You can keep acting crazy and more dudes will keep wanting to fuck you. If you want a long term relationship with a high status man, you're going to have to learn to say, hey, I'm sorry. I fucked up right here. Don't listen to me. That's fine. When you're fucking 44, come back to me like, yeah, Michael, you're right. Okay, that's the difference. Trust me, if you want the world to give you, the world will never give you immediate feedback because you're pretty because guys, all guys are desperate. Twenty eight percent of men under the age of 30 are virgins. You guys are de they're desperate. The, uh, OnlyFans, six billion dollars in revenue. That's the reason why. So you guys will always on the short term. There will always be short term sexual options for you that make you think that you can just say whatever the fuck. Oh, I'm on my period. That's why I said it. It's totally fine because I'm on my fucking period. And you should understand. But if you guys want a long term relationship with a man worth keeping, you're gonna have to learn. I was wrong here, and I'm gonna apologize before. So we before we go to bed. Before okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. That's how you're going to keep it. Check yourself. Guys, uh, please understand, your physical attractiveness, especially a man who has options, your physical attractiveness is here. Your ability to bring him peace is way the fuck up here. And it's your insecurity about your physical attractiveness. Turn that shit off. Don't even put on the fucking makeup. We don't even care. It's, it's your ability to bring us peace is so much more important. And that I'm telling you right there, if you can grasp that concept, you're going to land the perfect man. I got Thomas V says, uh, do you think if trad cons, traditional conservatives, understood female hypergamy, female solipsism, and Briffold's law the same way that we do, would that change their views on today's current social order? Is that a question for me? I, if, yeah. If I you'd would, like to field it, <laughs> sir. I, I think that it. we do look at things. I think you do. Through the, I think through the prism of hypergamy being real. We have a different way that we view things. We be, view things through the re religious prism. But religion is not stupid. These, <laughs> Christianity has been around for several thousand years. The church has dealt with this. If you go read what the saints say about the nature of women, you should probably go do that. It's <laughs> They sound like they're... Red pillars, literally. That's what a lot of saints sound like when they're talking about the nature of women. Uh, that they cry for things that they want, that they take peace away from the home. There's all sorts of different things that require the regulation of the church and of ecclesiastical authority to keep these things under control inside of society. I think where the red pill goes wrong is that they don't make great prescriptors to the descriptors. I think trad cons can do that where red pillars cannot do that. And that's where I think the disconnect is. Mm. Okay, I got another one here. Uh, FYI, Bob says, Rolo, there is a trad con on the blaze called Steve Dace, a devoted Christian who decided to also dip his toe into the manosphere uh, for red pill content. He has opinions on masculinity uh, after the shooting in Kansas City. Okay, mm. well, thank you. Uh, let's see. What else By the way, how many people here at this table are religious? Like, would you, sorry, what was your question? Religious, uh, how, how many are religious? Yeah, how many people are oh, religious, religious. I wrote a book on it. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. I think I think where the disconnect happens, and I, and um, and it, it's kind of like, I, I even hate that we're having this conversation because most of us are on the same side politically, and then we're art, like we're getting views from arguing with each other. You know, it seems kind of pointless. Yeah. Uh, it even says in the Bible, you you know, you stick your hand to the plow without while looking back, you're not fit for the kingdom of God. There's wisdom. They say they prescribe wisdom in the Bible. You're supposed to have. It's not just blindly follow and do stupid things. And so when you when you understand that concept, this idea that you're just supposed to believe one thing and not have any discernment, that's not that's not the case. So yeah. I think but without a, temperance, there can't be wisdom. And so this is what I mean by men having to control their emotions as part of the virtue sure. of yeah, temperance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, here's uh, thank you for the fifty dollars. Uh, with uh, three military veterans at the table tonight, can I ask okay. everyone's sure. opinion on equalizing the military draft to include registering eighteen plus year old women? Also for the Alex fans, Andrew, 
Please don't obfuscate. Love you, Crucible <laughs> Commander in Chief. What do you, vets? What do you think? Yes, women I should agree. be drafted. And if you don't know this already, other countries are already qu requiring two years. Italy is an example of yeah, that. Yeah, Finland is like that. Yeah. Israel is like that. Yes, yeah. women should be in the military draft if there's one. Okay. Anybody else? I agree. Yeah, yeah. I agree. At the very least, they should be uh, held to the same standards of uh, selective service. I totally yes. disagree. Yes. Okay, what do you think? I don't think that women should vote or should be drafted. Ooh, so I would I would remove the responsibility arc from women uh, when it comes to voting and when it comes mm -hmm. to being drafted. I think that the military is far better with women in support roles. I think that law enforcement is far better with women in support roles and not in primary roles. So no, I completely disagree. I would eliminate the draft for women, but I'd also eliminate some other things like uh, voting and some other things like that. I got to tell you just one critical position that a woman played uh, in Afghanistan in the middle of a war zone in a way that a man could never. And that is during the day in many villages in Afghanistan, the men go away to work, which leaves behind villages full of women and kids sure. by themselves. OK, just and like what happens Vikings. is what happens is you need a woman to go into those spaces in the middle of a war zone to go have conversations with those women for intel purposes general mccrystal winning hearts and minds you name it etc 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 the uh there's religious reasons that men cannot speak to those women mm -hmm. you need women that can be on the front lines you, you need have, women to do those so, jobs so that's still a support role it is not it is my friend that it is, is not i was role. part of an eight woman female engagement team i promise you nothing about my job was a support role so <laughs> let me ask you a question like honest question, are the standards in the United States Army for women and their physical readiness and fitness less than that of men in combat roles? Okay, so yes. I, believe me, I've been debating this since I was 17 years old. I'm happy to talk to you about this. Yes, to answer your question, right, is there hold on, wait, single, wait, 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 wait. I just wanna finish this one point. Okay. Is there a single female Navy SEAL? Oh, yeah, there is there actually. Is. I yeah, thought the, I thought there was one female ranger. Is yeah, that a female oh, there's seal? multiple female rangers as well. I, I, I wasn't yeah. aware that there was uh, a female Kristen seal. Christ is one of them. She's a female Navy SEAL. I wasn't worried about oh, a seal, but oh, I know about a ranger. Oh no, uh, so, sorry, I cannot name any off the top of my head, but that is not because there's not. There definitely is. I don't think there's a single female Navy SEAL that's actually gone through basic underwater demolition school and passed it. Someone go okay, well, it. well, hold on a second, because now we're getting into women even being allowed to even try. Okay, because they're allowed it, to try. Okay, but I know the dates and timelines on this shit. So 2016 was the first year women were even allowed to even attempt to go into those roles. And um, I was actually one of those first women that even went to go through the schools for it. When I went through OCS, I was going through OCS with the intent to become one of the first female infantry officers. Okay, it, it took me asking eight years in a row to even go to air assault school. Okay, mm -hmm. and I got branch? denied. Um, sorry. Uh, uh, I was multiple things in the military, but uh, I was in for 16 years. But um, what's really, really important is I asked for eight years to go and I met not to, not just meet the physical requirements. The physical requirements are on a scale of one, uh, sorry, zero to 300. I not only maxed it at 300 on the women's scale, which I'll give you that, but I went over that and I met what the 18 year old males were doing. I was running um, two miles in 12 minutes, which is six minute miles. That's pretty fucking fast. Okay. And um, I did that as a very, very capable, qualified female. I still wasn't allowed to go to air assault school. Here's the, here's the reason why. You're a girl. You'll never make it through. For eight years, I got told that. And finally, on the eighth year, I Good. made it through. So, so I just want to tell you, I, I fully agree with women uh, being held to the same standard as male. But yes, we do have physical, physical differences. That does not mean in today's age that we can't fight the same. Thing. Let me ask you a logical question. Logical question. The United States military was separated by men and women, mm -hmm. and there was a internal conflict, an internal war, where half of the army went against the other half. They had the same resources, same everything. One half was women, one half was men. Which one would win overwhelmingly? So, sorry, can you say that question one more time? Yeah. Let's assume we split the army in half, uh -huh. gave them exactly the same resources, exactly the same manpower, exactly the same tanks, jets, air support, everything. The men would probably The men win. on one side, women on the other, who wins? I don't know, because there's been some amazing. You don't know. Come on, the man would Amy, no, Amy, you, so, Lieutenant, you no, do know, and no, that's when that's no, when the cognitive dissonance comes in. I'm sorry, I disagree. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, I I disagree. Just, you know, there's some incredible there, women there leading strategic battles right now there, today. But there, but there, today. But there, but there are today. But there, I agree. Today, in fact, the Navy is led right. by a woman today. I agree, but there's the chief of staff 
Right. But my point is, and there, it goes down there aren't the enough. There aren't, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going down the ring. Right, but keep the, going there down the aren't, ring. by comparatively, there aren't enough of. Uh, uh, like hand to hand are, combat, men would win. Okay, right, but there aren't enough like female tank commanders that went to NTS. And, and we didn't fucking, get the opportunity okay, to even so, go. Okay, but that's okay, right? But that's the point is there aren't enough women to where you'd, you'd be able to pull out. Yeah. Well, let's point. just take it to the next level. Let's assume there was, and it was totally equalized. The force was equalized as far as you had all the same resources, the exact number of women to men, the exact same amount of technology. You still think women would even have a chance? Absolutely, yeah. they have a chance. Well, yeah, so that's me, when the cognitive absolutely. dissonance gets to the yeah, point where right I mean, we, we went to the moon because of a woman. No, we did not what? go to the moon because of a woman. There was math. Wi- that's wi- ridiculous. No, no. <laughs> it's the most no, ridiculous shit. It's not ridiculous, shit. ridiculous at all. Okay, it's so not ridiculous this is, this is yeah. kind of my wheelhouse. What okay. specifically are you talking about? We went to the moon because of a woman. The, what the, specifically the, do you want? The, the, the whole the math. bunch of mathematicians that were okay. behind that. So there was, a, there, was an officer, there was an office of astrodynamics, yeah, if you will. And this is where you're losing me. You can educate me. need to make fun. There were 600,000 people that worked on Gemini. Of course. And 98% of them were men. But again, yeah, yes. because right. men would not let women go Correct. into the positions that Correct. they rightfully well, we deserve did, we to go We didn't land on the moon because of, no. specifically because of a woman. Now, there were some, like, calculations that had to be redone, especially like during Apollo 13. And yes, in that offensive, of, they're called, the women were literally called calculators. That's what yeah. the name, name of them were. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah. But it wasn't, I'm not, I'm not trying to disparage them because obviously I'm a big fan yeah. of, of anybody who did that in our, the moon landing. But the, the reality of the situation is it wasn't the majority. It wasn't well, I didn't even 1%. Say that. I okay. didn't, and I probably overgeneralized yeah. when I said that, but I'm just saying like, and by the way, I was the first person on this show to say mm-hmm. that I definitely agree that we need men and men are amazing and all of these other things. Like, so I just want to clarify, I'm not like pulling some like feminism movement. But you was also the first movement. person that said that disagreed when I said that women need guidance. And this further proves my point, right? Because women tend to prioritize you got your prioritizations messed up you tend to prioritize what's good instead of what's best right so this conversation that we're having you're saying that well women can do this well women can do this they can be good you said that well yeah you lifted or did something and you met a standard that an 18 year old met right an 18 year old boy well okay when good. i was a 17 year okay, old girl but that's yeah. good but that's not what's best to do and men are men just happen to be better at the job not only that let me ask you all the questions show of hands real quick right so um are you a pro woman Who's pro women? Absolutely, pro I'm pro women. I love women. Pro women, women, I'm are, pro, great. women are great. Pro women, yeah, and we would all agree. Honest. The males would agree with this. So, but it's kind of funny how how can you be pro woman, but you would want a woman to go into a war zone and risk everything, risk everything. That doesn't even make sense. You're pro That's very right, nonsensical. Right you're saying pro woman. You're advocating for her mm. to supporting her in whatever decision she makes. That's how we're pro. And now women. you're bringing up yeah. rights. Yeah, now you're bringing up rights. And that's an entirely I'm different conversation with men. Her. Grant rights. A decision. I'm saying strictly <laughs> a decision. Right. You're supporting a decision. That's being pro woman. Yeah, I'm not no, talking no. about legalities. Yeah, I'm talking about pro okay. Woman. So pro woman to so they can go into a uh, to a war zone and get their head blown off. That's if right. That's nonsensical. what they choose. I mean, to I literally do. So you did would that. want women to choose something that would. I didn't kill say I them? want them to. I said you are support. You ask who supports women. No, no. But this is what I'm saying. You have to be able to differentiate things. You're saying that you are pro woman, but then you want women to enlist into the uh, military. It I, makes no I, I sense. Absolute, How can you be pro woman? No, I, I disagree. To protect women? I disagree with you there, my friend, because like I absolutely think women should serve a minimum of two years, like many other countries do. There's so many incredible essential roles that could be um, that you know, that they could fulfill. But those, those countries' discussions. fighting forces are underwhelming in comparison to our volunteer force, and our volunteer force is mostly of 18 to 23 year old males. And they are extremely skilled at their jobs. And so are the women. They are also very physically fit. This is the big so thing. Are the women. If you have tanks and tanks mm-hmm. are in a big fight with each other, I have to right? disagree with you on the mostly of physical fit. Physically so fit. I women. completely disagree with you. We, our, our, they're our far more physically fit than that. Than they're far <laughs> more physically fit than the females who are in the military. Yeah. Yes. There are a lot of across the board. Wait a second. Too. We weren't talking about genders just there a second ago. Of... No, um. I, was, I was actually bringing this back to say, let's just say you had tanks. Just I don't know. 2,000 tanks on both sides, an all-female versus all-male army. Who's to Just, say my tank can't blow your tank Yeah, yeah, right okay, out. hang on, let me finish. Yeah. I'll blow your tank up. I yeah, agree. Okay, I get it. You blow the tank up. But Who's going to lift up the big, heavy-ass shell? Right? Yeah. I actually think tank. that all the women Who's gonna here... Who's going to lift the big, heavy-ass shell? It's not me. Can you lift something up? You're going to take the big, heavy-ass shell. I have. Can you lift something up? Time out. Stop, stop, stop. Amy, the issue is, the issue is, while you're... I understand your argument. You're making the argument from... Like, you're basically Shaquille O'Neal telling us to all be tall. Like, you're 
you're so far outside the norm. Congratulations. I'm not saying it's bad, but you would have yeah, said most women, really are, women, most women, most women are not going to be able to do what, what it is that you were able to in do. Order to be in the Going back to what you said before, uh, there's been thousands of SEAL candidates. There have been 18 women to go through SEAL training, and one in 2001 made it through. And because of that, her identity is um, classified. Okay, one. Uh, one. Now, I guarantee you, if I met her, There's I'd be able to tell which one it was. I guarantee you, if I saw her, <laughs> but you went through fucking. I guarantee you, if I met her, I'd be like, no. "You're the one. You're the fucking seal." But yeah. my point is, is like even just doing the grind maintenance requirements for like let's let's put this tread back on while we're in the field. Let's carry these really heavy shells up this hill by the hundred. All of those are also physical requirements of soldiers. And while you may be an Diva. exception to the rule. Generally speaking, men are going to be far better suited for that role. I guarantee which means you, I that can they lift would, more than you can. Which means that ultimately, even if you could, what the fuck would they have to do with anything? Because you're you're making a general statement that a because man we're can talking do it, about but, a general statement. But I know, but you're saying just because of a man, it, you suck literally, okay. like from head to Great toe. Great argument. Like I guarantee you, I can lift more than you. Is it? Can. I got I got I got another super chat here. Is, I want to know if this is true. Uh, Rusty Fuel says you got is, Israel uh, tried using women in combat but they stopped because they took too many casualties they were killing it they were killing it. i was following that story for a while they, they were really doing an amazing job can we, in israel? can we talk about a statistic real quick okay. yeah so we're talking about like having the same resources no, men Ukraine. versus women right Ukraine. so like we have tanks on this side and then men have tanks on this side so the average asvab score for a man is 47 the average ASVAB score for a woman is 50. It's true. So we are yeah. technically We're, smart. No, 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 it's, it's, it's not that. Can hold, 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 hold. What you're doing is you're selecting for a select few group of women who, do you understand, most women don't have the audacity to join the military in the fucking first place. Yeah. It's about 8% of women. Oh, you're talking and, about, and, and of, you're but so, talking so, about the end of the curve. So uh, you're, yeah, yep. you're the, you're the, this is the result. The result is smarter, more assertive women will then want to join the military, and that's why you're going to get that. Of course, like the thing is also the standards as far as ASFAB scores, if you want to be an 11 Bravo, no offense, guys. I love you yeah, guys. Lowest I score. love you guys. Lowest score. But 11 Bravos, you don't have to have a fucking high score because yeah. you carry a rucksack and a fucking M4. That's yeah. the reason why. Mm. Yeah, so that just to elaborate on my point before that I made, right? I said that are you pro women? And, you know, the guys, of course, raise their hands as we should because we are pro women, but some women raise their hands that they are pro women, but then also had disagreements with, uh, you know, the, uh, the super chat. So think about it. I would say that men are more pro women than when men are more pro women than women are because we are looking to protect you. You argued and said choice, right? So now you're looking at we got to different differentiate the two. So choice, you said, well, we want women to have choice. Well, I'm saying that men, we protect women, right? So let me ask you a question. Do you have a kid? No, you don't have a kid. Let's say if you did have a kid, right? You birthed this kid for uh, you had this kid in your belly for nine months you took this kid through um uh you know elementary school and now they're in middle school throughout those years that you've raised that raised that child right what would you be prioritizing their choice or protecting them from their bad choices when they are of an age where they can't make a decision for themselves and they can't fend for themselves I think it's pretty obvious that you're making their choices for them. But no, 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 no. no. I feel That's like not my question. Let me rephrase this. That's not my to question. Being children. I'm right, saying, exactly. no, no. Well, it's, it's really, it's right. really We're a not. relatable topic. Women tend to be similar to children, is what I'm pretty David, much what I'm saying. You're a really good job aspects. of invoking emotion and. <laughs> no, it's up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you, no, you, no, you, no. you really good should have been tone that you, you swear you don't have. He's really good at oh, that. Yeah. You have yeah, back while to the beginning podcast. No, while you're, wrong. you're yeah. while you're yeah. calling, how is it wrong? You're asking me an exchange. opinion. Yeah, this was a Hold great on, exchange. Hold on, if you exactly ask an opinion, you. you cannot no. tell me I'm wrong. Period. No, no, no. You, if, you, if you you're, ask you're me a opinion, question, no, I you, give you, you my opinion. You my point. You can't say so, no. So listen, you're actually okay. proving my point here, right? So what I'm saying is that men are more pro women than women are and he's because talk if to you, you in a want nice and slow right. voice so that you sound like a crazy bitch. Right. Okay. Now I'm the overly like emotional male. Yeah, great. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me finish so, my sentence so, yeah. here, right? So what I'm saying is that men are more pro women <laughs> I'm gonna than let women you finish, are. But, because, I'm going to let you finish, but. Yeah, great. But and the facts <laughs> is that the facts is that what I'm stating here is because you said that you well no we 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 are uh, pro women because we want women for choice we want women to have choice I'm saying that's that's nonsensical because if you had a child you wouldn't be wanting your kids you would be like wait don't touch that stove that's hot which is what is that what is that well, at the end of the day you're talking about two separate things I'm talking no, about adults that can make their own 
decisions. And I'm not tell talking you, about animals or children yeah. or things that need to be protected because they don't know better. You're, you're assuming Two all men want to protect, so, no, no, and that is not why a lot of men join the military. I can promise you that. A it's lot a of men join example. the military. No, it's, 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 it's a bad example. It's a bad example that leads nothing but for us to say something that makes us look dumb. No, wrong. It is a push of the narrative that you want for us to agree with you, even though what we're saying has nothing to do with what you're saying. No, and this is incorrect. coming from a guy who thinks he's going to choose his daughter's husband. Okay, so, right. Because she great, has to be great. in love yeah, with him, yeah, and it's gonna last forever. You're, you're, you're not listening to understand. We're, I'm, I'm, me and you having this conversation. You said that. Well, guess what? Well, I want women to have choice, and choice I didn't is more. Say any of that? You that asked, is what you said. No. Can you we rewind asked, it? Can we? We. You asked. Raise. Show of hands of people pro women. I agreed. I am pro-woman. And then guess what I said? I, I said, said, so then the why choice. would you want women to go to war? You said because of choice. I said that, well, men are more pro-women is because we want to protect women. Not right? all men. Not all men. This the, a is lot what of men we're that, arguing a lot for. Of men can, can, the military can, can I use a different example that, that's like David's? The situation with Lindsey Hill and Trevor Bauer or the situation yeah. with Johnny Depp that's and cool. Amber Heard? In those situations, I was fucking livid when I saw that this woman, because I work with domestic abuse charities, mm -hmm. when these women went there and said that their men hit them when they didn't. But why am I the one who's angry about this? Who should be angry about this are women. Women should be so much more angry about the Amber Heard situation than men should be. Because they want to, they sat there and say, well, believe all women. Well, how can we believe all women now? She shit on his bed. The, uh, you can't, <laughs> you, I'm, let's just be real, you know? Like, that's how crazy it is. When women, like the thing with Lindsay Hill, complete, total made up, and Trevor Bauer lost 300 MLB games because this woman lied about him. And that's, the whole thing is what he's saying to what he's saying before. Who should really be mad about this? Whose cause has been set back by women lying? Is it my cause? No, it's women's cause. And that's the, the point. Women should be more upset about this so than men are. I agree. Seed I'm women upset and there's about bad it. seed men. And that's not the argument at hand. The argument or the discussion at hand was should we be pro women? And all I said was for a woman to have. The choice. choice, right. So yeah. now I'm comparing choice to protection, right? So mm -hmm. choice is free will. Oh, well, you know, we all got free will that God granted us with pretty much, you know, can do whatever we want, right? So as part as a man, a, a, a man, a, the reason why I compared it to a parent, because a parent needs to protect their kid. The reason why I can, so a man needs to protect a woman, right? Needs to protect women. So what I'm saying is that women, men are more pro-women than, uh, than women are is because we literally have a natural proclivity to protect you, which you're just prioritizing choice. I'm prioritizing protection. So I am more pro woman than you are. I think you're you're maybe part of like a, a group of men that have that mindset, but I promise you, I was a recruiter for the military for six years. That is not the reason a lot of men join the military. Some men join the military because the judge says, hey, you did a really bad thing. You got a choice. You can go to jail or you can get in the military. Some men join the military because their dads beat the shit out of them and they just want to go prove that they're tougher than their fathers so it's nothing to yeah, do we're not or talking about the joining we're, we're, we're not speaking we're not speaking about the joining we're but arguing you were talking about that because you said going back to the pro-women thing you're saying that men are more pro-women uh than women are because you have this drive to protect and that conversation stemmed directly from being in the military and serving in the military that yeah, was but what joining, we, that was joining is what, what, what i'm saying is we're arguing against women even joining the military i'm not arguing for that I'm <laughs> yeah, not arguing you're for arguing that. against that and me and him is arguing for that women yeah. shouldn't be in the military yeah well and you want to do the, the next clip? Yeah, you want to do that one? Except the support rules. I want to come back to that. Rules. I want to come For back sure, to the yeah. protection thing in a minute, but we got to get to this one, or I'll be, I'll be. And feminism broadly is the um, pushing of an egalitarian society based around the equality of men and women. Is that the most generous definition that you give? It? That's the most generous okay. one I could possibly okay. give. So, and I'm so you don't. Uh, like you don't think that I'm assuming you don't think that men and women are equal, correct? No. Okay. Which is I'm sorry. Does Farah have her own personal slave there to like give her, her a massage? No, hold on. Oh, well, can you start the clip again? I did not okay. hear anything he said in the beginning. All right, let me push it back. There you go. Feminism to me, feminism to me, and feminism broadly is the um, pushing of an egalitarian society based around the equality of men and women. Is that the most generous definition that you give? It? That's the most generous okay. one I could possibly okay. give. So, and I'm so you don't uh, like you don't think that 
I'm assuming you don't think that men and women are equal, correct? No. Okay. Which is okay. No. I don't. I no, don't no, think it's you, okay. Yeah. I, don't. I don't think that egalitarianism is true. I don't think that equality is real. I don't think any of those things are true. I don't think any do you of those think equality so you think should the, be real? No. You think is who do you think is I don't think well, I don't even think it's possible. Do you want me to tell you how far it knows? Far it knows what I'm about to say, but I'll tell you I can tell you how. I can tell you how men and women can't be equal. Do you want me to tell you? Yes. Okay. Yes. If you are to look at force in in society, who would you say has the, has the monopoly on force, men or women? Men on brute <sighs> men. The monopoly. I'm just they talking about the monopoly. Easily over the 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 stronger. I'd ones. be like things are set up for men. But can you indicate a time in history ever in the history of all of mankind where men didn't have the monopoly on force? On force like, as in like physical force mm -hmm. though, correct? Like always. They're always force. stronger than yeah. us. Oh, then yeah. That's yeah. the biology. They have the monopoly on physical force. So the question when you come down to rights is who can enforce rights? And women can't enforce their own rights. Men have to enforce women's rights. So there can never be real equality. There okay. can never be real equality. Literally, what the men are, fuck? I just <laughs> All right. Does anybody have any reaction to that specifically? I have a question. Why has Go she ahead. got this picture with a bodybuilder? Yeah. <laughs> was that normal in his younger days? What that was distracting that? as fuck. <laughs> I think that there's a difference between like the quality of men that you're talking about. I feel like you're saying men in general, like all men. There's a difference between Joe Schmo on the street and Michael. Like Michael takes care of himself, not to gas you up, whatever. But you're a pretty fucking awesome dude. I appreciate that. You know, Thank like, you. and there's a difference too, between <laughs> there's a difference between you and like some dude named John that never works out, that sucks at life, whatever. Like, that's the quality of man that we want, not like all men. I think I think the decision though was about equality I to deal with it was not quality but equality. General. Yeah, but also, equality. but also, also, I want to ask that too. Like, you said a couple of things in there. Um, you said that men should control the rights of women. So you, nope. No, you I said that. I didn't make a should claim. No. Well, okay. Okay, so then maybe I heard it differently. I made a descriptive is claim. Sh what is true. Human rights exist only because of men. That's what he's okay. saying. It's yeah. not so saying that they should control. Yeah. Take a should claim versus an is, is claim. It's a descriptive versus a prescriptive claim. I'm not prescribing that men take rights away from women. I'm saying what is descriptively true is that men grant women rights. Okay, cool. Like okay, but I feel like, I feel like diva, 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 diva. Let me talk. I feel like someone that has such a ridiculously high ego as you should at least be physically fit. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? So anyway. I just, I just have a, 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 quick, yeah. uh, a quick question for you guys. So as a woman. I mean, woman, I think a woman as bitchy as you should be attractive. But I mean, <laughs> what do you want? Anyway. Uh, can I just say that you think like like everything that, that you say that you know and all this stuff. Is this why you come in with such an attitude like making like like you're better than us? Yes. Now, can we get back oh. to the argument? Okay, let's just agree not to insult each like, other. Like, if you guys looks, didn't come, so, so listen, Loretta, yeah, here, here's the situation. Anything. This guy is a professional debater. Like, he will, like, stomp people. That's that's the way he communicates. He's only interested in the content, not the context. Totally. And if, but, and if the context gets misaligned, then you don't have to say things about, like, him needing a pedicure or, you know, making fun of It gives us a bad yeah, look but and I, it makes us women that, look bad. But that bad. doesn't give you the green light to be disrespectful. You are being that girl. That doesn't give you a green light to be disrespectful. What did I do that was disrespectful? I was just answering your question. You came at me. Yeah. I'm just going to shift come the at conversation yeah. back to the topic at hand. I just have a, a genuine question. So as a woman who is completely single, I'm not dating, I'm not seeing anybody. There is zero besides my father and my family, there is zero constant male figure. Slide in the DMs, gentlemen. In Slide life. in the DMs. Okay. <laughs> and and so I have I'm you know, I'm a career woman. I have my own business. I have my own show. Like I, you know, I've built everything myself. I got my own MBA. Like I did everything I needed to to structure my life. I need my rights. I need to be able to to vote, to, you know, to work, to I need to do all of this stuff because otherwise I'm just flailing in the wind by myself with no to your point, I don't have a leader. I don't have someone leading my home or my family. That's that's, all, that's me. Sure. That's but, me. But can we get back to the descriptive claim of whether or not men are the granters of rights to women? That's I, the claim. I didn't disagree yeah. or anything with that. Yeah. I, I'm just asking, like, in the scenario, because I would love a perfect society where, you know, they're, every woman's got a man and um, they're secure in that relationship. And he's a, you know, all the things that I think you're saying that would be healthy for the balance of men and women. I yeah. don't disagree in a perfect society, but unfortunately the reality is we don't have a perfect society. And there's women like me who 
you know, have to be on their own until I find a partner that's a worthy per partner that can be all the things that you're describing. Sure. So, but you generally don't make prescriptive claims for society based on outliers. You usually take the general pool and then you make the prescription based on the general pool, knowing full well that can't ever accommodate everybody. That's an impossibility. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about what should we do, the should part of this, what ought we do? I, I'm guessing you would think we ought to do things which are the most beneficial for the most amount of people. Mm. Is, that, is that correct? Sure. Yeah, so I mean, if that's what you're speaking to, then we can clearly look at times, even in American history, where our prescriptions for society clearly benefited far more people. And this was even pre-suffrage for women. Seemingly, they lived much healthier lives. We didn't have a birth rate crisis. Um, almost everything across the board, pre-egalitarianism, was better in American life than post-egalitarianist feminism. And that's what the claim is. And back to what you were saying, you were saying that, you know, you were, you pretty much stating that you're a successful woman, woman and you're single and stuff like that. How old are you? 34. 34 years mm -hmm. old. And um, were you ever married before? No. What was your longest longest relationship? Um, Four years. Four years? Mm -hmm. Okay. And when was that? Uh, five years ago. Five years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've been single in a dating market for five years. Yeah, but I mean, like I was telling you guys earlier, I had like a really devastating breakup where I was just about to get married and it ruined, it like kind of ruined my whole got you. feeling you around. Got with him? Mm -hmm. um, I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. that does suck. Um, and, and pretty much what I'm saying here is that uh, that goes back to my point that you tend to have a point of contention within the be beginning of the podcast, but now you, you seem like you came towards it with uh, women need guidance, right? And this is why these two guys do this podcast, right? I, I believe this is one of the reasons, correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> uh, because women need guidance, right? So uh, you're 34 years old and you're single. You've been single for five years, right? But I have a very, I just, just want to clarify, I don't agree with your statement that all in general, all women need guidance because like I'm doing really well on my own. Are, do you think that you're, but you're doing, you're doing well on your own, but you're 34 and you're single. But, but at this point, that's a very defined choice of mine. That's a defined choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are you, uh, are you celibate? Uh, yeah. I mean, you could say that at How this point. How long have you been celibate for? Uh, I mean, a while. Oh, okay. A while. So that means that someone is sliding in between them so gaps no. and smacking it around every now okay, and then. Okay. First of all, don't, that's what that means. For, hold on. No, no, no. It, don't just, don't so wait, me, wait, wait, wait. No, no, uh, uh, no, there is no, 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 sir. You do let not get, what did I told you? No one is disrespecting no, you. You literally just talked to me like I was a, a 304. Been single. No, the way you, the way you just described that is completely inappropriate. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Can you even repeat that back and slap me around? I'm sorry. My, like what the way. No, no. I think you, I think you misunderstood what he said. He was using a euphemism. He didn't say slap you around. <laughs> yeah, he just said like like have fun like having sex with you. Sliding in and the way you describe okay, it, sir. So you, I am you, not a three hundred four. Okay. No, no one is saying Don't that any man like that. that has sex with a woman, he is sliding in between them, so gaps and smacking and flipping things around. Yeah, that's just that's the, exactly that's what you how said. it is. Men dominate Don't, during sex. Like the conversation is over when you disrespect me that way because no I am not disrespecting you. No one is The way you just said that is so disrespectful to me. Once again, you're feeling a lot of negative emotions. Like correct because you don't talk to a woman like that. Well, I do. Well, and then there's no conversation because you're not going to speak to me like that. You're trying to twist it. I'm Sir, speaking you're not about speak not to me like current. that. I'm speaking about what you spoke about. You complete said that. Complete well, narcissism. I'm gaslighting. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, yeah. Gaslighting. Okay, like, great, great. You, you no, so you're not going to speak to me like that. You took his baby to me like that. You took his baby to me like that. Here we go. Time out. We're going to do like this. We're going to go David first, and then Amy can respond. Go ahead, David. Let me clear it up real quick before I get all emotional, right? So I'm just saying this, and this is why I ask these questions. This is not anything malicious at all, right? This is why I walked out. So I'm saying that women need guidance, and you're saying that you're not one of those women that need guidance and i ask you these probing questions to see if well you're 34 you're single you've been single for five years well you're saying that you don't really Wait, need didn't a man didn't she stuff say like she does this. want a man for guidance didn't you say that earlier i, I if i could find a quality yeah. male which she unfortunately there is none Okay, so let me finish. I'm trying to help you out. This but is just, not just by talking to me the way you're talking to me, too. I don't have to avoid yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why you're This is how I speak. That's all okay? you, all yeah, you work speak, in, it doesn't work in this context. And, okay, great. In Philly, this is like a uh, uh, compliment. <laughs> We're not in Philly. I'm just kidding. So, all right. So, basically what I'm saying is, right, so you've been single for five years and you're 34 years old and you're saying that, well, I don't need any guidance. My point is what I'm saying is, here's why you need guidance. Just let me finish my sentence, right? The reason why you need guidance is because you're single and you're 34 and you're, you're still having sex with... You're saying it like it's a bad thing, though. God that... dang, can I finish a sentence? <laughs> God dang, one in. you're saying it like it's one... a bad thing. Let me get Being 34 one and single, why in. is that a bad thing? Let me get thing? one sentence in. 
Back to you, right? We're just going to ignore her for a little bit because she over You are a complete and... narcissist Anyways, and you're right? gaslighting her no, I'm completely speaking to her. right now. I'm speaking I to her. I think you should just shut just, up. Just oh, let, let him just finish speaking and then you guys can Literally, I can't get Seriously, just let him move on. Do I move on? No, I keep going. Okay, cool. So all I'm saying is this, right? The reason why you need guidance from a man is because you said that you're 34 and you're single, but you're still having sex with men. Now you may have been celibate for two weeks, or three months or whatever you've been doing, right? But that means that you chose a man to sleep with at some point in time during you were single and that dude didn't meet uh, uh, the requirement of a relationship for you because you had sex with him and then you got rid of him, right? Or he got rid of you, whatever it was. So I'm saying that you need guidance from a man because Guess what? There's certain characteristic traits that you can look for in a man. You, you said in the beginning of the podcast, well, Cooley, I, I, I wish it was more men out there like the guys that you speak about, right? I'm saying that there are men out there, and I'm telling you of traits, of how you could find these traits in a man and actually get what you want, which is why you need guidance, and I'm guiding you right now. So now let me tell you how these traits in a man like me and masculine men that you could find a masculine leader that can protect and provide for you and give you a future, so here's some traits of the man, right? Some of these traits is being decisive. A man needs to be decisive. One little pointer to see if a man isn't decisive when you're first texting him. He's like, hey, guess what? Uh, you know what you want to do? He's asking you what you want to do. He can't really plan a date. He's asking you what you want to eat and stuff like this. A decisive man is telling you this. Hey, baby girl, be ready at eight. We going here. We doing this. Boom, boom, boom. This will be looking for. So that's one green flag you can look for in a man that has his stuff together. I'm giving you guidance of what you need. Another trait. You ready for more? <laughs> well, I didn't ask you for the advice. Period. Well, number you, one. well, you're getting the guidance mm -hmm. of what yeah. we're talking yeah. about. I'm making you. I'm making you. <laughs> your point. Unsolicited guidance. Yeah. Listen, listen to yeah. his I, I, didn't, I didn't ask for any of that. Okay. Uh, well, great. Yeah. You didn't ask for it, but you need it because you're 34 and you're single and you're still having sex with assuming, men and not getting what you you're want. Assuming. You said that you want these masculine men. Yo, David, I, I wish it was more men like you spoke about. There's not many. Well, the reason why you think that there's not many is because you don't have the ability to retain them. You, you can re you can attract. Them, they, they'll only smash you, but then they'll dash you. So you yeah, you can attract sorry, them, but you, you can't retain these men. I think, That's I think a fact. Why are you so angry? I think we need to move on because this is going passion. nowhere. Chill out. Yeah, no, sir. You're you're giving me unsolicited, unsolicited advice, and okay, you don't know me or advice. my well, dating. You don't know how I communicate with guidance, men. Et you don't want to take the guidance. Fair enough. I didn't ask you for guidance. What if the women at the table like thought that your guidance was just like? trash like we're just like this trash. guy is guidance. just like i would never listen <laughs> yeah, to this that's guy true, so, true narcissism so let, me, right let there. me see if i can insert something here because what you're saying what you're saying is two different things here when we're talking about i think one of the reasons why women end up in a situation where like i don't trust men i don't like we just watched the very first video that was on here we don't need men don't need men no being that need men when i was on dr phil i told dr phil that there's an overwhelming um let's just say zeitgeist right there, there's this overwhelming like atmosphere that uh, men are superfluous right now. And I had to explain to him what superfluous meant. <laughs> uh, but meaning, meaning like they're nice to have around, but they're not absolutely necessary because I make my own damn money. I went to college. I went and I got my own damn business together. I got mm -hmm. my own money. And then they get to be 34 and they go, well, where are all the good guys? Where, where is, where, but that, the problem is, is that up to that point, when you get into your mid thirties, and you're looking at guys who aren't going, or you said a worthy man. You want to submit your life to a worthy man, mm -hmm. not just any old motherfucker, <laughs> yeah. but a, a worthy, worthy guy who's got his shit together, who's got, who makes more money than you, probably more educated than you, mm -hmm. probably taller than you, probably more physically impressive, like at least in some way so that you can look up to that guy. 100%. Okay. You cannot, men, women cannot look up to a man that is their equal. So the guy has to be at least this much better than you are on that 100%, on that scale. 100%. So the problem is, is that women are have become the men that they want to marry at this at this stage. Mm -hmm. So they can't find those guys anymore. And so what happens is they have that fear, that instinctive, insecure fear that they're never going to be able to find that guy. And so what do they do? They try to ensure their security because they are the vulnerable sex. They try to ensure that security by becoming. Become, by becoming by becoming men by becoming the the guy that they wanted to marry and that i think is probably the number one problem that women face today is the fact that they fear that if they get with the guy he's going to cheat he's going to leave he's going to fuck his secretary he's going to i'm going to invest all this all of my sexual capital and all my agency and all my life into this guy and there's always that outside chance 
that he's going to leave once he's once he gets paid, right? Once he wins the lottery, once he makes partner in the law firm, once he becomes a surgeon, once he whatever, when he becomes a winner, I'm going to be the loser because the things that made me attractive to him prior to all of this, I don't those are a depreciating asset at this point. So what happens is women try to ensure their long-term security by themselves. And the guys who are, that's one of the reasons I think women are so frustrated because women, average women don't want to get with average men today because they don't make, they, they, they can't be as paid as you. They can't be as, as educated as whatever else that you made yourself. So we're looking at a generation of women who are fearful that they're going to that those guys are going to leave or there's something is going to be uh something's not going to work out for them and so therefore once they have made their once they've got all that security then they find that they can't get the guys that they're hoping they're going to get the worthy guys who that they would want to submit their lives to yeah that's the number one problem that women have right holy now holy shit Rollo, did i just agree with you on something yeah. no <laughs> it's so true no sir. now more to your point i'm going to read something that's from my, my fourth book here real quick because yeah. this is what this is from the chapter called big head babies okay big head babies is the reason why women are the vulnerable sex is because they are the incubators of the next generation and so when you say women need guidance I agree with you that women need guidance. I, I agree in the fact that men think that they need to give women guidance. And because of the state that we're in right now, where women are so fearful that they need to ensure their own security, men still want to give that guidance. And women are like, get the fuck out of here. I already made my money. I already got my 100%. education. I yes. already, I've already become yes. the motherfucker that I was hoping to marry who could give me guidance, yes. but I can't find a guy like that. So I'll give, I'll, quite honestly, I'll give myself the, the guidance because I can't find any dude that's that's worthy of my you know time or whatever. But to your so. and Michael's point, because you guys talk about this a lot, like the the pool of candidates for me, listen, I'm five foot nine. Number yeah, I was going to say this. So right? a hundred, so you want someone who's taller than you. Yeah. So six feet you tall and a hundred K. Yeah. So six feet tall is 14% of men. A hundred K a year is 17% of men. Right. So if you want six feet tall and a hundred K, Funnel. It's, it not, it's not it's not 14% or 17%. So it's let me, 14% let me just, science. Let me different. just run through this real quick. So human females are weak and inefficient physically compared to men, okay? So uh, so for much of the, with their ancestral lives, they were carrying around one or more weak, delicate offspring, children, right? You had to cuz their uh, human babies take a long time to gestate. They take a long time to uh, reach self-sufficiency. They need female mothers mature, you know, nur for nurturing, for feeding, for for just you know, for guidance in, in general. And so women tend to not be able to run. They can't fight because they're taking care of children. They need men to join the military, to be able to fight, to be able to have to be physically fit, to be, have, you know, a, a upper body strength. And if you look at just the physique side of things, men physically evolved to be animals of war we have if you look at the uh, if you look at our bone structure if you look at our, chi our uh, the uh, what is it the hemoglobin in our bloods I, there's a whole list of, of, of there's a great body characteristics great for that yeah. yeah so unlike females uh, other species they're constantly dependent on males to protect feed and care for them because they're constantly having to to nurture those children okay essentially they but are isn't that still the case no well here <laughs> let me see essentially women are permanent children in the sense that they uh they acquire by proximity some of the fragility and importance of humanity's very expensive children so if you have a weak child and you have the woman there who's uh, who's caring for the child and there's no one to protect it well who's going to protect the male is going to protect that that child mm -hmm. so how do you prevent the males from tyrannizing these women to the detriment of the species by imbuing males with the same protective instincts towards them that women have towards children. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying women are children. I'm just saying the instinct is that they're seeing as that to treat them threat. like children. Yeah, and, and, it's, and, it's, the, it's, and the big and the big head, the to big guide to provide to be parentally invested to be provisioning, protection, and parental investment. Those are the three like beta qualities, right? Okay, so then there's so how uh, and how do you prevent them from exploiting that protect how women. How do you how do you protect them from men from exploiting that protective uh, instinct and take the advantage from males or uh, from making them unprotectable by ignoring male guidance by imbuing women with the same instinctive obedience towards men that children have towards women and uh, and that's the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, just the funnel, the, the whole point of me bringing up the funnel was like you know because I've already done it all for myself at this point, uh, you know like somebody coming to me and saying, I'm going to give you guidance. It's like, bro, you're a little too late to the game in terms of guidance. Like in terms of like dating, when someone, when someone's, you know, wants to take me out on a date, yeah. 
that's the first thing I'm looking for is how do you come to ask me for a date? You know, like, are they, you know, are they prepared? Do they have yeah. it together? Like I, all of the stuff that you think you're going to tell me, I already mm -hmm. have it down. Let me ask you one question, all right? So the guy that you last had sex with that didn't grant your relationship because men grant relationships and women women oh grant boy. sex. Okay, you're right? wrong so, there. Well, that is a fact. But it's anyways, not. Uh, so the guy that uh, you had sex with, right? Um, I'm not going to talk to you about any of that. No, 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 that's fine. I I'm asking you. So you said one thing when I said that, hey, oh, no, I Cooley, I wish that there were more, you know, masculine dominant men that can protect and provide for women. That's a good thing. But they're very hard to find. Yeah, so now I'm asking you that, that last guy that you had sex with, right? Was he one of those masculine dominant guys? Or was he one of those ones that you settled for a dude that just raised you up? Yeah, I just told you a few minutes ago, I'm not going to talk to you about that. And again, I'm going to discontinue all conversation okay, with you. If so you cool. use so, statements so, well, like rich I'll, me I'll, up, absolutely you know not. Charisma. Yeah. That's what charisma means. You, sorry, you said, I thought you said something different. Riz, Riz I know exactly what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but so it's not I what I thought you, you so, said. Yeah, so let's finish this uh, conversation real fast. So pretty much I'm saying the last guy you had sex with. I already told you I'm not talking about No, no, that. no, no. This is what I'm saying. It's just one, just answer this. Was he the type of guy that don't I spoke about she in the beginning just, of the I podcast, told you. or was you he not don't that type of guy? What I'm okay, so you. I'm not God. talking to you about. So then that means that, that he wasn't that type nope. of guy. I, that, I, no, I just said I'm not responding. Great. So, so, not so that means that he wasn't that type of guy. So what I I'm saying that that man stop. raised you up. I already asked. That's a fact. So here's some guidance. I'm gonna give you more guidance. I don't even care what you're saying right now. So here's here's some more guidance. She's asked you to shut up like ten times. Great, great, great. So here's some more guys. No, you, no, you, you can you, talk you to should the group because I'm not talking to you. You should want to hear this, right? So no, the reason why you were rizzed up Nobody by that guy is because this. you prioritize the wrong traits in a man. Okay, you want to hear yourself You prioritize the wrong yeah. traits in a man, right? So guess what? Women are more emotional, right? So <laughs> guess what? You didn't look for the things that I told you to look for in the beginning, like a man being indi uh, indecisive and things like that. What you did look for is, oh, well, is he charismatic? Is he charming? So that's why you let this dude slide in between your soul gaps, smack it and flip it around. And you gave sexual access to a dude that didn't grant your relationship. This is why you're 34 and you're single. This is why you need guidance, which I'm giving you now. I'm literally telling you how to actually get the men that you want, but you don't want to listen to that. Why is All right, she she uh, we're ready to move on. Is she ready? She's ready to Why? plead the fifth. I understand what you're saying. She's Why ready to plead the fifth. Why is being 34 and single a bad thing? Okay, so so it's so not. It's, 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 it's not that. But, but you're honey, saying it. You're saying it. You're saying it. It's like Ava, well, Ava, you're Ava, what, what, what he's what he's bad. saying is she still is looking for someone. She's still looking. so bad. Maybe not bad, comparatively bad, but it's like I want a thing. I want to have a company worth 10 billion dollars, but I don't have it. I still want that thing. So if somebody wants to give me guidance to get there, I know this. But let me tell you, a man that talks to a woman like this would. Never make that cut. So right, it's I'm about not like looking for it. Not, <laughs> he's, he's, like I said, I'm not. He's, he's, not, he's, an, he's, he's an not excellent content so creator. He's creating content. Away. Away. He's going viral. I'm not trying to smash. He's literally trying to see goes away because you're yeah. not trying to smash her. It's literally Respect goes out the door. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you don't get to fuck. I'm, no, he's just trying to make content. He's trying to get click throughs. He's trying to get you diagnosed. You have to look at the full picture, though. Let me get to a super chat here. Infinity singular. Premise one, thing. human I mean, ability human abilities and contributions vary widely. Premise two, meritocracy towards these differences. Conclusion, egalitarianism overlooks merit, hindering progress and fairness. I think that was directed at you, Andrew. Yeah, I mean, I would say the argument's not valid because of premise two, but I agree with the conclusion. <laughs> yeah. Society has not changed female nature, but just revealed it. The women on Fresh and Fit are the mouthpiece of what 95% plus think, feel, and believe. And last one. Russian chick is killing it. There we go. Ah. Good job. So yeah, she's Polish. That's but very real, good. That's, that's uh, here we go. Demon time Zerk. Uh, this is a picture of Zerka here. Shout out to Zerka. Zerka. Um, I was at RAS for Ranger Selection. We had three females uh, of them. They didn't make it. Uh, it's only a very small proportion of regiment that has females. Homie, we, uh, Robert Flores says, homie, we had 110-pound ruck packs, uh, rifles carrying the 50 cal ma deuce in pieces, 50 pounds per part for 25 miles, USMC. And then uh, d uh, Demon Time says, special operations, you go through selection as voluntary, so it's a choice. And they don't mind sending women, but the thing is, you have to meet the standard. Coach Dom says she's lying. I was stationed at Fort Campbell, home of the air assault. The Army pushes everyone to attend the school. Women aren't held back. They're placed on a pedestal. The, the Army's, uh, uh, the Army, the Army favors women. Uh, CGD says, be sure to read the Access Vegas Super Chats. You should probably go with right, those. Got, I already got them. Okay, cool. I got and then uh, Coach Dom, I was deployed to Iraq twice, Afghanistan once. Women are a liability, not an asset. 
in combat or in leadership roles, the worst leaders were women. Also, ranger instructors lowered their standard for women. Society lowers the standard for women. Wow, Coach mm-hmm. Dom is going going a ham right there. Well, you know, the, I mean, the whole the, the whole <laughs> argument as far as like you know, uh, I got this other one right here because and I can relate to this is that female epay fencers can't compete with male epay fencers. Can confirm, uh, even if the sport is about speed and grace. Yes, I know I'm a fencer myself. So, but the problem is, is like that's a reason why we have segregated sports right now i mean that's that's a no-brainer we don't put we don't put male fencers versus female fencers and we don't put the we, WNBA in, in the nba I and mean, it's just it's it's the same thing i don't think that that's i don't even think that's an issue at this point no. i don't and i also when it comes to like you know uh, mandatory conscription for women in support roles for, for perhaps in combat roles i might have something to say about that but what i do know is this is that women ought to ha, ought to be uh, held to the same standards as men when it comes to selective service because when we talk about how uh, I, I love it because we're we're going into what is the uh, was it a uh, female women women's history month is is in march i believe yeah mm-hmm. and Whenever, whenever this rolls around, we always have the same question, like, mm-hmm. well, should women be signed up for the selective service? And I'm always going to say yes, because when you look at the penalties for men not, sub- not, not signing up for selective services, you literally cannot hold public office. In some states, you can't get a driver's license. In I think the, it's on a federal crime, it's like $250,000 is the top fee for, for uh, you know, not signing up for it. And then in some places, you can't, you can't vote. Um, you can't become a U.S. citizen yeah. if you naturalize you a citizen unless you're but if you're 18 still, you don't sign up for. But it. that's still an egalitarian so, mindset. Well, so you, it is. It is. So in, like, it, well, in that case, equal, in that equal, case, equal, in right? that case, then we need to say, okay, either everybody has to do it or nobody. has Or to do you it. can say you have to do it because you have duty, but you get an additional mm-hmm. privilege that they don't the, get. The, the real well, you could do that. You could balance it out that way. The other thing is, is you could also say, well, you know what? No man has to sign up for selective services until a bunch of women do, and enough women do mm-hmm. that that men did. And yeah, now I we're agree equal, that you're but being that's consistent. never going to happen. Though. I agree you're consistent with the standard, right? You're like, mm-hmm. look, if the standard's there for, for men, it needs to be there for women. I get that. That's totally consistent. I'm just saying that that is still a mindset of egalitarianism. Mm-hmm. I would say, nope, this is an additional duty that men have to do to protect the homeland. So they should get something additional. Right. Well, that that's was, what that I was would say. And, and I agree with you because that's the that was actually the first... Um, uh, argument, let's just say, against uh, the suffragettes, uh, against uh, yeah. uh, against you yep. know, suffragists, as far as uh, voting was, was concerned, because they end, didn't have skin in the game. At the end of your book that you mm-hmm. your that you just read there, mm-hmm. it seemed that when you got to the end, where the conclusion was that women are supposed to, oh, that's the the kind of uh, societal infeed is obey just like a child obeys mm-hmm. this way you can have reciprocity. Mm-hmm. That's the part that's failed, right? Well, the reason and the reason why is because we have we. Because women have become the men that they want to they they want to marry right. that they want to pair off with as a result of technology the, se- survival, control, the sexual revolution yep. technology, technology women control. have to yes. women have to eat do they not who's going to yeah. pay for her shit yeah, yeah. they <laughs> have to work they have to become <laughs> yes. the man until yeah. they find the man yeah. and I think that's the, the issue that Amy is, you, is running into and you never why she's single for so you long. never find the man. Because you become that guy. Yeah, and, so and you, re- you repel them you rem- because now you're masculine. Well, yeah, and exactly. I think that's the issue that we she do, has. But you also, the more, the more you become uh, the man that you want to marry, the fewer men can compare to what you've made yourself. They don't, they don't make enough money. They're not educated enough. They're not tall enough. Because I was right. entirely too yeah. masculine. Right. Yeah, and right. and it's hard to bridge that gap. How do you become soft while also taking care of all of your crap? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you attract well, I, that? And that's what and I'm, I'll be the first one to say. To I wish it. Well, I wish it wasn't that way. It's but the, hard. But the problem mm-hmm. is, is and this this is a, God damn it. This is great. This is exactly what I was trying to relate to fucking Doctor Phil when I was on there too. I'm like, I'm like, no. The reason is women don't need men. We just saw that the very first video we saw. I don't need no man, but I want a man. Well, what kind of man do you want? Uh, Jason Momoa, Jack Reacher, uh, <laughs> Justin <laughs> Waller. Uh, that's the that there's there's a want for a guy who has that st- still has that like physical machismo, like the guy who who's going to rock your world in bed. But you don't need that guy because anything he could provide, you already provide for yourself. You've already got protection, provisioning, and parental investment, whether it's through the state or whether it's through your own doing or whether it's through education, whether no matter what. But the problem is, is the guy that you would want to be with in the long term that 
guy, those guys become fewer and fewer the more you make yourself into into somebody that's a, a high quality woman. No, no argument there. But I constantly get this from women where it's like, Rolo, how do I find a good guy? How do I find a really a good man? And I'm like, you've got to get in touch with your, you know, get back in touch with your feminine. You got to get mm -hmm. feminine energy for lack of a better term, but you've got to become, <laughs> it's almost, we've come full circle. Yeah. In the seventies, we told men, you need to get in touch with your female side. You need to get in touch with your emotions. You need to get in touch with, you know, being, being, a, you know, being more female. Now we need to tell the women who've made themselves into the men that they want to marry, get in touch with your female side. It's exactly the same thing that we yep. said. And the problem now is women equate that with, what are you saying? I need to dumb myself down for some dumb, some, some ass hat that I don't really want to be with in the long term anyways. Feminizing a, a woman who's masculinized herself, if you tell her to get in touch with her feminine, they equate that with dumbing themselves down. Well, well I mean, you're talking about a matter of incentives here, right? Mm -hmm. This is really coming down to a matter of incentive. So you're just well, saying that's, there's... And that's like, yeah. whenever, whenever anyone says, how are we going to take care of like the problem with OnlyFans? How are we going to take care of pornography? How are mm -hmm. we going to take care of all these like... Every, everyone wants to... Call, you know, whatever is degenerate, mm -hmm. right? How do we... How, what are we going to do? Minimize the incentives. That's right. Take incentives. The incentives take away the incentives. Take the but incentives to your away. point, mm -hmm. um, you know, you're saying uh, just a second ago, you were like, you know, women... Uh, you know, don't want to go towards their feminine because um, it's like dumbing themselves down. For me, it's not that. For me, being feminine and being able to be feminine is a place of vulnerab vulnerability. And it's one of the reasons mm -hmm. why I choose to still be single is because I'm still like not okay even like surrendering my heart or myself, mm -hmm. the trust mm -hmm. and all of that because mm -hmm. of how significant mm -hmm. my previous Absolutely. Was. I think we all agree. Well, That's yeah. the, and the, I have a well, perspective it's, it's that you would agree with to be too. vulnerable. Do you, hold, do you hold grudges long? No. <laughs> you um, probably won't hold longer than 10 minutes. He's trying to piss him off. Oh, 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 no, you're going to agree with this. You're going to agree with this. Trust me. Okay, you well. want to give that before? Um, that's what I'm asking you. Do you hold grudges long? No, I don't. I don't okay, hold so grudges long Okay, so let's that before I give you this. How okay, about that? all right. All right, so because you're going to agree with me, right? So would you agree that a man that wants sex from a woman that can't get sex from a woman, right? And he's doing all of these things wrong, but he wants this like, oh, you know, yeah, I'm just, you know, I want this type of girl, right? And uh, wh what would you say that that guy has to do? He has to change his behaviors to get the result he wants, right? Um, I'm he a would little have to... lost on where you're okay. going. A man, would, a man would have to level up to meet your standard. A hundred percent. Got okay. it. So, so this is what I'm saying. But, <laughs> but, but not, in, not only that, right? So if a man that wanted sex from a woman or a relationship from a woman he wanted anything from a woman right but he can't get it he's an incel he's an involuntary celibate you would say that well obviously he's doing something wrong so therefore he must change change his behavior to get what he wants would you agree with that i think so okay great right so now i'm saying this right and this is not malicious this is not an attack on you right this is just guidance right so you want a certain type of man right and that certain type of man that you want you can, you can attract those men. I'm sure you see them out. They holler at you. They slide in your DMs. You attract them, right? But I'm saying that it's hard for you to retain those men. No. So, okay. All right. Well, if you could retain them, then you, you said that you wanted that man. Uh, you wanted uh, pretty much a high-value man, right? But obviously, they're hard to come by because no, there's not a no, lot of them. I think it's going like in one ear and out now. of the other because you are not at a caliber at her uh -huh. level to give her that advice that she wants. You said that it's I'm like not, not valuable. Her. I, I, okay. I, 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 think, I think you're assuming that I can't find. Not find. Okay. Not fine. So, so, or that just, maybe I'm the one that you're can't trying keep to escape. them. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, very clear. Okay. You just agreed. If a man wants a relationship or sex, sex with a woman, but he can't get it, right? He can't find that woman and he can't get it. You agree that he needs to change his behavior. Granted, right? I'm just saying that you can't find what you want, so you need to change your behavior. So take some of this guidance. God dang. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. No, what I the? can't. Yeah, I, 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 I think well, the way the way you're talking to me is like I think it's yeah. delivery because yeah, I the think way you're talking to me is just so it's like down and like okay, well, it I, is I down. Mean, you yeah. just agreed with something. Like, but let you're me not, give you guidance. You want to stupid agree with it within kind of yourself. Thing. So that means that your okay. emotions is getting in the way of no, logic sir. and reason. Okay, okay, That's okay. I got a question. What's your relationship like with your mother? Well, I choose not to answer. Great. Okay, well, you asked her a very it's, personal okay, question. Great. And she I can say that you. is great. Do you, let's What's go your down relationship this line. like with your mother? It's beautiful. Are you sure? Yeah, it's wonderful. Do you have a relationship with a woman right now? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm in a relationship. 
Oh, well, then she must be really stupid. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, all right. Here we go. All right. This like, is that, I, that's why I didn't even want to go down a line. We're not, we're not really raising. To give. Love you it guys. We're not raising the level of the conversation <laughs> yeah. here. Let's try this again. Uh, do you want to uh, post you this want me last one? that last one? Yes. Okay, here we go. One last thing one? to react to. And then we can do and the, we'll and then we can go after the Allie can talk back to all our haters. <laughs> no. Yes. All right, one second. Leave. For you guys. Allie, I'll next time you're sitting up here. I need okay. To watch the next time you're sitting up here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Here we go. I don't want to be passed around so bad, but my boyfriend just wants a monogamous relationship. <laughs> it's 2024. Expecting to be with one person for your entire life is like unreasonable. I'm a young 18 year old Latina. I'm trying to get my face blasted by multiple men. Like, I haven't even had a quickie in a bathroom stall. I have so much to live for. And you're telling me that I have to stay with this one guy because I love him so much. But there's literally guys out there with 13-inch meats waiting to destroy me. It would just be so unfortunate if I were to go my whole entire life without getting piped by at least 100 different people just to see who I like the most. I want to be piped. If this isn't satire, that go. is absolutely disgusting, and I do not that's relate. Do not you think that that's she needs why, they it. That's why they're playing it, because that gets that reaction, so that makes yeah. us look dumb. No, 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 no I'm not trying to make you look dumb. I'm just curious course, if you... Uh, of course, it's so dumb that it's it's asinine to even sit there and make us watch it and wait for a response <laughs> or a reaction. Is, I 100% agree with It's just absolutely oh, stupid. And you're over here <laughs> cheering it's about it. Funny. And it's pretty funny. It's the funny. dumbest video I've ever ever seen it but, but, but I think anybody your, with common sense that's your opinion sense, though that's fine that's good that's what I wanted anybody with common sense and a yeah. brain would know that what she's saying is disgusting she anybody doesn't, she would. doesn't think it's disgusting even the most promiscuous girl that, in this room is. would probably tell you that that is not I'm the norm I'm pretty sure she was being sarcastic Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm I, I, got, I got the troll vibe. But it's vibe just from not. Okay, so yeah. no, my, my question that. was, do you think that's indicative? What she was saying, that's indicative of women at all? Or do you think this whole thing Didn't was Didn't I made? just say that that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my okay. life? No, I think women innately, they want love. They want to find a partner. For sure. W women need to give other women good, sol solid, strong guidance. Okay, so, so here's yeah, the thing. thing. She said she wanted a partner. She said she was in love with a guy. She just wanted to have sex with other men. You know what's funny? Before you go yeah. down that, you just said women should give other women good guidance. I think when you surround yourself with other women who are married or in healthy relationships, yes. almost every time I've seen one of my friends who's single and just out drinking all the time, and she gets closer to me, she almost instantly always finds yeah. her partner. Yeah. It's just surrounding yourself with the kind of women who have the same mm. goals as you, and that's mm. how women will support women and give each other the guidance that the men keep trying to give them, but we're not really... We're not really taking it in because of your delivery. And um, I think a lot yes. of what is being said on your end might be legit. And not say might. It but is his legit. Entire business, Same thing though. him. Right. And I, I get you guys do the videos and you want to get a reaction. You they you want them viral. viral. They're, they're I great for viral. I literally don't need no reaction. I, I, you're wearing sunglasses you inside right now, bro. I, like, what are you I, talking I, about? I wear sunglasses on my podcast and it's for a reason. It's because I have okay. a sensitivity level to light. I think you need the reaction. That I can understand. Exactly. I have a migraine today, too, so I can understand that. However, I think by you surrounding yourself with, with women that have the same things that you, you know, want and that you admire or have goals for yourself, that might be the guidance and the surrounding factor that might change the kind of men that come Mike, around. Mike, you know, yeah. there's there are studies, and I think you're, I think she's on. Does something that mean all? There's, the, yeah, you are on to something because there are studies where, like, she, if there are a couple, like the two two married, and one of them gets divorced. It yeah, like has a reaction too. amongst oh, their friends. friends. Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. Or if one, or if like, one guy like, cheats, the other guy cheats. I'd like to point this out like, that you know. what an incredible discussion we're having. Wow. Because of the video we just reacted to. I just want to give myself a big <laughs> round of applause. <laughs> I thought that was a great video. I got it. did exactly what I wanted. Let me ask a question on this video. Okay. So let's assume for a second it's not satire. Okay. And she's totally serious. Would you women call her a slut? I would say that she's I misguided. No I would. I have no I, opinion. Honestly, I don't know what I'm saying. At this table? To her. No. Is, yeah, that's too much. <laughs> Outside this. <laughs> so you, you think, well, Ali, what I, you think I, she's I, doing I, is too much? Ali is saying it is too much. To what do you really uh, say I want to get piped down by a hundred guys? So you, know, you would say that she's a whore. That's what he's saying. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Would you say Ava and Loretta, what do you think? Is that like what would you be, would you, like, what would you, if you, if this were a friend, would you give her some different guidance? Yes, I'd be like, sure. best kitchen table talk. You don't have to post it on social media. Yeah, for sure. You know Obviously, what I, mean? what I think it's troll. I I, you, you wouldn't troll. say, how, how is, like, how is like, the 13 inch really? meat? Come you wouldn't on. ask her you that? Would get her to a place of honoring herself. Okay. I think she said yeah. she was 18, right? 
Yeah. She said she was 18. I think that in her brain, attention, any attention, good or bad, is probably attention. Yeah. So she probably thought that by posting this, she knew it was going to get some sort of crazy oh, yeah. viral totally. like, oh, yeah. sensation totally and that she would response. become... Now, now we're getting closer to the truth. Yes. I agree with you. I think that's what's happening. I think it was a yes. fun... Like, again, no matter what you do there, even if the, she was a paid actress, the reality is that woman will be identified at some point and you're the 18-year-old. That video went viral. You, you understand what I'm saying? So her necessity for attention, that may have actually been the reason. Yeah, I agree but I still with that. feel like it didn't get an answer. If it wasn't satire, would the women here... Alice. Say she was a slut. Alice, what do you think? Yeah, I think so. Uh, what the do you same th time, I think I think she's a slut. At the same time, I don't have problem with like people that are like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, so I, she's I a slut, but she don't care. Her yeah, business is her business. I completely understand yeah. that some women they don't want to be in a relationship. They wanna. She's 18 years old. She didn't have too much sexual experiences. She's like watching porn or something, or like looking at those only for the girls or something like that. And she's just like, oh my god, I want to experience that too. And that's her right. I want to go she get wrecked in a bathroom stall. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's what she wants. Yeah, do, but uh, you I also know it. that slut is a negative word. So you say that, yeah, you would consider her a slut. Right. But then you're excusing of it and you're saying that pretty much, well, I would still be accepting of it. Well, if it's negative and you wouldn't even do it yourself, then how can you even be accepting of it? It kind of What do you mean itself. accepting? You just what, allow people to you, do you, what they you, do. She's going to do what she's going to do. It's not up to her to tell her what she can do with her life. So she's like, yeah, I, that's not I can't she's change. I thought women need guidance from women. Yeah, I thought you need guidance from women. That's what. That's what I heard. Women yeah. need guidance from women. Man, what a great clip I picked. I, I, do, I do not. <laughs> I was going to say that again. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't call women sluts or whores or anything like that because listen, it doesn't matter. Do you if, call guys hold broken on, bums. Hold on. Uh, I don't call. I'm, I'm going to finish what I was <laughs> saying. <laughs> Bro, he doesn't have to argue. <laughs> he cannot. Um, I don't call women names like that. I disagree with their choices, and especially if it's a friend or someone I know, an acquaintance, or even someone that has like a sister relationship, <laughs> I would give them good solid strong advice but i don't like to call women names like that because there's way too many men out there who women they're just minding their own business men are calling women that just for showing up in the comments i'm sure i've been called a hoe bear oh, so you name it it's all so the time it's so bad just for being present mm -hmm. you know so for um, existing I, I don't i don't call women names like that because men call women that just for being unfortunately, alive unfortunately i feel like i'm on the other side of that it's like i feel like i play with that too much with my friends like bitch or hey slut you know little things like that so maybe that does go into you know the negative yeah, yeah i was actually gonna say women Call I like women names do that. more I than men call women those like names because I think men want to sleep that, with that women. Way to check her. Yeah, but I think women, women you want, to men want to sleep with women. Wrong and correct. Women want to sleep How with men. Trick? Yeah, it's not a trick. Men want to sleep with women, so therefore they they're not going to be like, oh yeah, you're a whore. No, they're going to still smash the whore, so they're going to be like, yeah, you're a princess. When they know that she's a whore, so men really don't call girls whores because most men have a natural proclivity to sleep with most women. Have you seen the the chat? Because it's 304 oh. comment after 304 comment after 304 comment after dried up after why are these women on here? They're all ugly. Would none of them can even touch us? We wouldn't even consider them. But they're sitting here every know. time that we say something. At all. My point is, have, they wouldn't say it to your face. No, no, but that's my point. Every time smash. that we've said anything to each other, <laughs> rather than staying on topic and commenting on what's being said, they have attacked our looks. Every single one of us. Oh, I he come did here, that. I come here most of the time with no makeup on and sweatpants, and I sit right next to him yeah. and I have a conversation. Today I decided I wanted to put on some makeup and a shirt because I'm going to do a photo shoot after this. But after every single point being made yeah. at this table, it's been nothing but disgusting comment after disgusting comment. Do you think that has anything to do with the way you are dressed? You have your cleavage out. Um, I'm you sure. Have your cleavage out. I'm sure men don't know how to. Really yeah, that's hey, listen, yeah. Ladies, 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 I just want to let you know. I just want to let you know. If you want to put your cleavage out, we are contact us at Access Vegas. We have come on the fucking show. Rolo, contact Rolo. I'll get in trouble. Yeah. Contact Rolo. Yeah, Cooley, I don't know if you know this, but that's kind of what we do here. No, yeah. no, no, no. And make sure, <laughs> no, make sure totally you get in, make sure you get in the last word, bro. That, make sure you get in the last word. No, I got I to get to the super chat. Go I'm go sorry. This dude, thank you for the $200 one here. That's oh, great, geez. man. Uh, first Lieutenant, with your logic, would you also have to justify the now dozens of instances that women have compromised our military's operations due to their reproductive abilities? Nuclear subs surfacing, for example. Why can the military not adopt a wave? W-A-V-E, structure for women like in World War II. Okay, first of all, there you go. Uh, thanks for $200 for that chat. I appreciate that. Um, but uh, listen, the thing about reproductive systems is that 
both men and women have them. It's not women just getting themselves pregnant. So if they're down there on a submarine, which it wasn't until I think it was like 2004, 15 or 16, somewhere in there, that women were even allowed to go on a submarine, um, for starters. So we haven't had this issue very long. Um, but when, when they're down there uh, underneath the ocean, who's getting her pregnant? It's uh, the men getting the woman pregnant. She could have gotten pregnant before she ever went on the sub. Yeah, it's definitely a possibility. But women actually have to take pregnancy tests before they go into combat environments. So it's very unlikely. So unless they... The, unless, Are they going into a combat environment when they're in a nuclear sub? Oh, oh sorry. Any kind, of, any kind of mission, which that would be considered going on a mission is to go below the surface 100 you're taking a pregnancy test before you go down there okay so you're saying that the only way that these women are getting pregnant is if they're on a submarine because, under the ocean yeah because men who are for months in, at a time yeah yeah because the men are impregnating them who are on the actual submarine 100 right? okay would that happen if there was no women present <laughs> so listen I, I, I think that if you're going to the going back to the super chat, which was to talk about women compromising the combat scenario because of their reproductive systems. What I'm saying to this gentleman who paid two hundred dollars. And again, thank you, sir, uh, <laughs> is, uh, is, um, is that uh, it takes two people. So the male also has a, a reproductive system. It's all I'm saying. What's the wave structure? W A V. That's the uh, I think it's a Navy women's like reserve. It's like a women's specific military service but i think it's specific to the navy i had to look it up i wasn't sure i do know that uh, more to your point i do know that there's like has been at least in the past a tendency for women to get pregnant just prior to deployment to avoid deployment or sometimes yeah, to get out yeah. yeah or sometimes for any number of different reasons yeah. uh men do that too men do malingering they, they get pregnant before they like go that. <laughs> no well, just this, is a, this is 2024 yeah. Yeah, just, maybe yeah. i don't know you're just talking about like malingering or things like yeah. that i'm just saying that absent females being present, it's impossible to get them pregnant, right? It's impossible to do. That's a very simple argument. Yeah, but it, it's, a, it, it's a simple argument that has a lot of merit. Yeah, but I, but I think my, my whole issue with this is that there's so much focus on women being the problem. And it's like, well, hang on a second. Instead of blaming the woman, why don't you also talk to the men? Like, hey, dude, you're on duty. You have a, you have a responsibility yeah, a to argument. your job. No, but you're making it about the women. All I'm saying is like, if that's you're going to... because specifically, we're talking about a female problem here. No, it's not just a female problem. It's it a male, is. I disagree. Um, Men I, are necessary to the military. Females so are, are not necessary to the military. Uh, Therefore, if females are removed from the military, this problem goes away. Okay, well, what I'm telling you in response to this chat specifically is that it's an equal problem, that the man got the woman pregnant and wasn't her doing it on her own, and he also needs accountability, not just well, her. Sure, but this this problem does not exist if women are not in the military. And, and there's the, no actual reason to bring women in anything other than support roles into the military. There's no, this has always been the way it was done inside of the United States military until recently. Would you, Most would you, women had support would you roles. consider being on a nuclear submarine a support role? For like if women, uh, women on a nuclear support. I don't know. That's it. I, I personally. I never served. Thank you very much. Yeah. So I'll be the uh, dumb idiot. I, I will tell you. I get every time I flew. There, there's your super chat. Every, every time I flew over over Iraq, everyone on the crew got combat pay. So I don't. I, I guess technically they probably would say that. Um, no. You were in the military. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know this. Yeah. yeah. Shoot. Yeah. We all. Yeah. I was in the Marines. Uh, oh, you I was were in the Marines. Army. I didn't know. So there's four of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Very nice. Who can who, who take a I take a this. take a part in M4 the faster? How fast can you take a part in M4? I'm not hiding it. I mean, I just like I don't just be like, hey guys, I'm a veteran. You she know said, what I mean? It's not my name. thing. <laughs> if you ask me, I'll tell you. I didn't know yeah. that's so amazing. Yeah. Oh man! Thank you for your service. Yeah. Thank, Thank all you. Of you. Yours. Yeah. Thank you. Guys, anything else? Yeah, okay, good. cool. Uh, uh, Derek, he's a little mean here. Okay, Derek, these women are insufferable. This is why the red pill and passport bros exist. I wouldn't even consider coffee with her. All this woke BS. She's only a six or seven pass. Well, I won't. I would love all you ladies who are watching to come on Access Vegas. Yes. We'd love to have you. 100%. You have a 600 body count. We want to hear all about it. Bring your ass here. We Get are not judging much. Bring why up, is bring commenting on her looks even a thing. Oh, I don't like, understand. Because he needs to take yes. my power. Like, we all agree. Like, he yeah. even said it. She wouldn't, they wouldn't say this to your face. These guys, like, are sitting there, like, they know they don't have a chance with you, so they're just going to say this. Oh, Dude, no. we had so fucking, we had three Miss Nevadas on this in show. The comments? And they get called, uh, ran on. through hoes. Like, talk about guidance. You, you, the boys don't care that they're in the comments making themselves look just really, really They don't, dumb. they don't even peck their own group. I mean, it, it's just insane. I'm, the last time I was on this show, I started commenting back to a few of the men that were super, super horrible about me without just cause. 
and they were so nice back. A couple of them started following of me. Blah, blah, blah. Did you, you, get, did you get them attention? So we so never I said men don't them. need guidance. That's yeah, that's for sure. No, I'm men saying to need take the next time that you're like in the tub or on the shitter, take your phone and start responding to these guys yeah. and give them guidance since no, you no, have no. so much this is what, wisdom. This is what the four of us actually do. Huh? So, wait, this wait, is what wait. the four of us so actually read, do. We give men guidance. Read, okay, I know. Okay, I know wait, you guys have wait, we're going to see it in real time. We're going to see it in real time. Rolo, please. I've seen these comments about yeah. me that people are paying money. Read one of these nasty comments All right, out space that's about dude. me. Single women absolutely and I want dist- you to respond single and educate. Women, give your good guidance to this male right, about how they should so be talking to women. Space dude says, uh, single women absolutely destroy their friends, relationships, crabs in a bucket. I don't think that's relevant. Um... Okay, that was just... Okay, so... Look, look, look. Oh, I got last one. Here's the last one. There's the last one. The last one, one was... I can't also. <laughs> uh, I just want to thank the blonde military chick for staying single. She's doing all the men a favor. Imagine being married to this. And... Wait, we got one nice one. Hold yeah, on. but the thing is, you can't imagine being married to the, the, the problem is when these dudes do this, they just like the very show fact, me your girl. The like, very, that's the, all I'm saying. The very yeah. fact, yeah, exactly. I know the very fact that you would say, "Well, I'll imagine being married to this." Well, I wouldn't. I don't think you'd be imagining being married at all. Uh, just wanted to donate and say thank you, Mike and Rolo. Uh, I got my credit score to 500 now. Nice. Uh, seven uh, from 500 to 780. I finally moved out into my first apartment and recently bought my dream car, uh, a 2023 Kia Forte. And that's nice. Hey, brother, thank go, you. go and watch. Watch my, uh, my interview last week of two credit card gurus that will help you uh, build your credit. Uh, the reason why 34 and single is bad because she more she's more prone to high-risk pregnancy. <laughs> Older men don't want, so he picks women in her 20s. There you go. So I would love... I and would Russian love chick, you're still killing it. You guys, to, de- to defend, <laughs> you know, you, being a protector, these yeah. are fucking horrible comments. About but no, really the comment that she's doing that she's killing it because she hasn't opened her mouth. Yeah. To just know sit there, just happen. sit yeah. there and don't open your mouth. Meanwhile, yeah. three comments ago they said something nasty about her, but everybody else is like, "Well, she hasn't opened her mouth, so she's the cool one." You know what? That's human. Human yeah. nature is to speak and to have disagreements, but they're so immature they can't comprehend a woman saying something and them listening. Okay, yeah. okay so so here's here's the guidance I would give, and then David, you can give yeah, yours. Sure. Right. So here, this is. Uh, better bench press, six pack abs, uh, incredible, like incredibly fulfilled life, the woman of your dreams, the job of your dreams, total and complete fulfillment and freedom. Okay. And this is like teaching women a fucking lesson and calling them 304s. Both of these things have a place on YouTube. They do. And I'm, I'm telling you, I'm as guilty as anyone of watching this one, but I'm only fucking care. I only fucking care about this one. It's the only one I'm interested in. So if you have these type of opinions about women, you probably don't want to join MOA mentoring because I'm only interested in you getting better, not you destroying women just because you, they won't date you. Calling women a four or six or a hoe or whatever, I just need to see who you're dating first before you keep saying that. That's and it. they're spending their time yeah. commenting so, these nasty things rather than getting a trade that would make them money correct. and getting rich and actually being in the dating world where they're actually successful with women. So they're spending their time like... Uh, I'll, I'll, Refrain from yeah, exactly. I mean, but what the last they're very comment, dedicated. <laughs> very yeah, dedicated. What the, what the to last craft. comment said, he said truth, but the fact that he even had to, the fact that he's commenting that, right? Like a man that's on his journey and on a and on his purpose. The comment about the high risk pregnancy, about all of it, any of the comments that's you know calling your names and stuff like that. Sorry, so, sir, sorry. Are you saying uh, I'm a hoe? No, 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 he's saying, no, the high risk no, pregnancy. Because, no, because he said he's saying truth. Here. No, about the high risk pregnancy at your age, no, which is, the, is what he's talking about. He's yeah, he's not. He's, not, no, he's, 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 a, he's disagreeing <laughs> with the guy. I'm I think, is that, is that what you're you saying? Actually. I don't want to defend you if you're saying some buffoonery. No, no, listen, 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 ladies. Because he said he's saying oh, truth. If you're saying shenanigans. No, no, and y'all literally are like, <laughs> you're not okay. listening to understand. Y'all just is going in one ear and out the other. So this is what I'm saying. I'm speaking to the comments. You literally said you want me to give some men some guidance, so I'm giving them guidance. But tell her what specific comment you're saying is truthful because she doesn't yes. know what you're referring to. That's the I problem. I said the last comment, the last, the last guy that made the comment, what he said had truth About in it. It was what? truth. Which comment he when he three? said that a thirty, uh, a woman has thirty for the high risk pregnancy. It's high risk pregnancy. Just said. Yeah, so he, like... he's referring to that, not the whole comment. Okay, mm. let's go. Finish. Yeah, got uh, you. So yeah, pretty much all. Pretty much all I'm saying is, is that. Uh, the men that even has the audacity and a mindset to make comments to women like this in the chat right now greatly appreciate the support oh, uh, and watching the content. Hold on, we got another one. This guy wants to be involved in the conversation. Same dude, uh, laughing, by, uh, laughing my ass off. By the way, I'm a married man with with kids. No name calling. By the way, he's so handsome. He's not even using his own profile photo. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, got you. So yeah, pretty much all I'm saying is men need to be finish. men need to focus on a uh, purpose instead of you know watch the content, get the game from it. But I mean, you know, making a comment to make you know someone feel bad. If anything, you want to give guidance. So what the last comment pretty much just said, he did give truth into what he said. The other comments that's talking about y'all calling out three hundred fours and stuff like that. In regards to you, you're saying like, well, well, uh, wh why are they calling me these names? These comments are so bad. No, remember before, and I and pretty much what I was saying that, and I talked about your, the cleave, uh, cleavage. Mm -hmm. I was saying that well, you're sexualizing yourself, so therefore men are going to sexualize you as well. Not one so time therefore I they're going to why they're doing it. I I think it's sad that they're think, doing okay, it. Okay, you think and it's sad I think that, that they're doing you need it. to okay, give enough. guidance to other men the way that women need to yeah, give yeah, guidance. Most to of these other guys women. are not, not one time I questioned agree. why they're doing it because I know that they're low lives. I know that people who sit there and talk shit about other people that they don't know. Got you. Like, well, here's a question for you. Online? Do you think that you would get that energy if you withheld so much, if you withheld your sexuality? 100% okay. had the same. So no, let's no, no, no. 100% had the same. Islam where the, the women wear the, whole, the, the turbans and everything You're, on them. They go full fledged. Do you think that that woman will be sexualized and be called, called the three or four? I 100% have come you think on she'll here be called in sweatpants with no makeup. I've seen it. Same nasty comments. But they can also pick at other little things of, I'm not going to speak about I, problem. I could pick out a hundred things of somebody yeah, yeah, else. Great. That's not I'm just the talking problem. about sexualizing yourself. All I'm saying is, do you think that you'll get more negative responses from men if you didn't sexualize yourself as much? The Absolutely. answer is, Look at me. you'll still get negative, but can't, you won't get as much. So if you were more modest, right, and you I'm didn't modest. sexualize yourself. I don't have an OnlyFans. Okay. I'm, I'm not. So a, it's, it's I'm your like fault, literally babe. like It's your fault. We all right. 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 She got raped right. because yeah. of what she was wearing. Okay, here we go. Right. And and the submarine is sinking. The submarine is sinking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, women don't need guidance and aren't emotional. Noted. Got it. Okay. okay. Uh, Thanks, Tara, bro. Uh, Tara, Tokyo, you guys need to level up. I'm in the gym listening in Tokyo. Uh, what are you dudes doing? Okay, awesome. Very cool. Uh, <laughs> Allie, you're amazing. Uh, thank you for carrying the show here today. Uh, can you tell me, what, what did you, do you have any final thoughts for us? Final thoughts? I would say to any girl, woman, who is going to come on a show like this, just be ready for it. It's like, you know, yeah. you know it's going to happen. And if you got your tits out, guess what? Somebody's going to comment on your tits or whatever. <laughs> it's just be ready for what is going to get thrown at you. I don't know. Allie, please come back. Thank you. Well, I, I want will, you to come sure. back and talk more. Next time, I, this time was a little quiet, more yes. reserved. We'll, put, we'll bring you up to the front. Observe yeah. it a little bit. <laughs> I, I got this one right. That is the little front of the class. <laughs> the I'll one that's back. not Ava. That is I'll the Loretta. Back. Loretta. Loretta. Yes. Loretta. Um, I, thank you guys so much for your point of view. I just really think that you need to work on your delivery. Hardcore. Like if you are, if you know, we know we're gonna be in a room with men, and we're ready for it. And you guys have to be ready for it too. Like, don't come to us like you're. We're on trial, and you're our lawyers, and try to trick us and say, "Do you think she's a slut?" Because then she's gonna say she's a slut, and then you're gonna say, "Oh, you're being mean to women." Like, don't come at us like that. If you want to be on our side and have a real conversation, then be on our side. Got That's it. How I feel. Okay. Mr. Cooley. Yo, uh, thank you for inviting me on, man. Of course. Uh, we've had this planned, uh, I think, a few months, actually last year, a few mm -hmm. months ago. It was uh, uh, in the making. So, uh, man, it was a pleasure. Um, love you guys' content. Um, I've learned a lot from you guys and what you've uh, gave in this space, um, just as far as content creation and stuff like that. So, wish you guys the best, and uh, I'm definitely willing to come back if you'll have me. For sure. Hey, guys, make sure you check out uh, the No Fugazi podcast. I watch it. It's really funny. You guys should check it out. It's re really, really interesting stuff. Lieutenant. <laughs> Lieutenant Amy. I just always appreciate a good conversation. So thanks for having me on. I love you guys. Uh, and uh, girls are not hoes just because they're girls. Okay, cool. And Alice, Alice, jump, jump in here real quick. Alice, do you have any final uh, thoughts for us here today? Um, I don't know. Men and women just love each other. That's it. There you go. 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 Okay, awesome. You're from the Russian girl. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Uh, uh, Jesse. Just... To anybody listening and to the people in this table, listen to other people and take what you can from it. Being open to somebody else's perspective is not the end of the world. Being able to admit that you're wrong or that somebody else has a point without doing it distastefully or disrespectfully, I think goes a long way. Word. Wonderful. Okay. Miranda. Yeah. Stop What's pointing on, the finger, essentially. You know, love each other more. I think we should listen to understand, put ourselves in each other's shoes. And yeah. Um, thank you for having me on. This was a really heated and spicy conversation. I've been watching both of your guys' videos. I was researching, so I, there you go, I, Maureen. I, was, I was trying to understand what I was getting plan. into. So, yeah, thank you for having me on. All Appreciate right. it. Ura. And now you know why we brought Jesse Preston on. 
There we go. Thank you. At the end of the show. And listen, uh, uh, nobody. What did Jesse Preston do? Jesse right? Preston didn't hit anyone. <laughs> Andrew, uh, how was yeah. your experience? Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it a lot. I will say, kind of in closing, when it comes to this, hey, everyone, they're being mean in the chat. I've seen conservative female content creators go live dressed very conservatively, just giving conservative viewpoints and watch nothing but women in that chat rip her to shreds. Rip her looks to shreds, and they're always progressive women. And they always, half of the content creators who lead the charges are always dressed like skanks. They're always dressed like literal whores. And they tear these women down. They tear them apart. So I kind of find it disingenuous that, oh, hey, the chat's mean. The chat's fucking mean to everybody. Yeah. Everywhere you go. If I'm debating with a progressive, the chat's mean. Yeah. Uh, Watch if, if, when I go on yeah, Fresh any of these people, That's 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 the way it works. So no, he's not gonna he's not gonna go after the chat. You know what I mean? Like ultimately, you know, fuck you. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not going after the chat. Bullshit. It's bullshit. This is the internet. Got so, it. So that's it. Uh, Ava. Ava. Um. My favorite, just, my favorite twin. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're kind of okay. Anyway, um, whether I agree or disagree, disagree with a lot of the things that you guys said. I think it was very entertaining, and you guys did a really, really good job. So props. Gracias. I got one last twenty dollar here uh, from Tony Esquire, bro. Uh, I'm active duty U.S. Army CW2. Salute to Captain Sartain. Shout out to the Air Force. And notice that it is always two to tango when women get called out. Did Kim say that to Kanye or did she take the full $200,000 per month of kid support? Uh, here we go. Uh, G- uh, Gila Note, combat vet marine, saw all the worst things. The blonde, while I disagree with several of her positions, is handling herself with a great deal of stoicism, uh, most impressive lady on the panel. So there, there's your simp comment, ha. Huh? <laughs> so there's your simp comment, ha. Huh? All right, guys. Hey, thank you guys for joining us. Our thank next you. episode is going to be the uh, 14th of March. March yeah. You guys want to come out to that? And we should have Jim Sexton. Oh, wow. incredible. Yeah, yeah, Jim Sexton. Uh, James incredible. Sexton, a divorce attorney extraordinary. Yes. Esquire. So Esquire. He's going to come out. I can out actually say it. And he's going to talk about uh, divorce and uh, di- several things like that. Also, guys, uh, Babes in Toyland on the 8th is not is going to be postponed. We're not doing the Animal Rescue Charity then. We're going to do one in Miami. But. Uh, on the night, we're having a Grammys party. If you guys are interested, Teatro LA is throwing that. If you guys want to come do that. For the rest of you guys, hey, come uh, join my school server, S-K-O-O-L, school, Men of Action Free. Love to have you. And Excellent. then read all of his books because yes, they're required do. reading yes. in the Men of Action Get program. Get them all at Amazon. You guys can do that. We will see you guys thank with more. Everybody, thank you for joining us today. Thank you guys. What so an incredible panel. I knew this was going to be, this was gonna be, this was gonna be an explosion. One, yeah. Thank you guys for uh, allowing us with all our misinformation, and we will see all of you in uh, <laughs> right, three weeks. Yeah. Peace.